Let's continue our adventure in the... Um, what, what's this game called? Oh, yeah. Uh, um, um, Omega Dimension Neptunia V2. Yeah, let's do it. Wait, which one's my latest save? Uh, this one. Let's go, 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 let's go. What was I doing? I have no clue. You healed me right now. My affection points would skyrocket. Don't care. Oh wow 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 wow. Wow 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 wow. Let's go back here. Get the heels. We're, we're going to there, right? So naive. What should I do? Come back here. Did everyone see how I did? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We just met older Neptune. Now it's time to get a bunch of story. Play some bets on voiced or unvoiced. Hmm. I think there's a decent chance of this actually being voiced. Ah, nope, I was wrong. You'd think that main story stuff like this would be voiced. This game seems very selective with what's voiced or not voiced. This is our main base. Wow, oh, so there are still a few areas where nature appears to have been untouched. This is a very wonderful place. Yeah, there's like trees and shit. Is that a waterfall next to Nepgear? Ugh. <gasps> Ball monster. Huh? Miss Uzume is returned? I don't know what your voice should sound like because it's not voiced. I haven't heard you before. But the do doggos have a surprisingly wide range. They're not all cute and squeaky. There's some deeper sounding ones, too. They should do whatever they want, apparently. It's been a while, you guys. I'm back. Hey, look, everyone! Miss Usume is back! It's Miss Usume and Umio! Welcome back, Miss Usume! You too, Umio! Oh, oh? There are people we don't know? Oh my goodness! A bunch of monsters appeared! This isn't just my base. All these guys have tragically lost their homes, so they live here and look out for each other. <gasps> those whose homes disappeared at the land, those attacked by dangerous monsters, and those whose homes burned because of the giant. They were all rescued by Uzume and brought here. That's why there are so many monsters living here. You're so amazing, Uzume! You've saved so many monsters doing this! It, it's not a big deal or anything. Uh-huh. These guys also look for share crystals for my sake. I really admire them. Hey! This is a barrel bathtub, isn't it? It's my first time seeing the real deal. I want to soak in it. That's right, that's right. Even in adulthood, Nepsi still acts exactly the same. This may be sudden, but could you explain to us who you are? You can take a bath afterwards, yes? Yep, that's okay with me. In return, could you tell me about this world and about you guys? I was all alone this time, so I don't understand anything about what's going on. Oh, really? Ooh, so there's another me out there? I'd like to meet her. Um, so it's correct to say that you're a different Neptune from my Neptune? That's right. From what I can tell, the world you're from and my world are different too. 
So, that means in your world, there's a CPU ruling a nation that isn't you. Uh-huh. Hmm, I think she was a CPU named Plu-something? Oh. Plutia! Plutia gets referenced in this game, oh my gosh. Like, half her name, that's about it. Although, I've spent more time traveling through different dimensions than at home, so I've never even met or seen her. God damn it. Blue something? Huh? Could it be? Wait a second. Did you just say you're traveling through different dimensions? Yep. Why? Something wrong? Would that mean you can travel at will to any dimension you want? Oh, yes, absolutely. That's great, Gearsy. It's so freaking lucky we could find you a ride home so soon. I have a big favor, Neptune. You see, I'm stuck here and I was wondering, could you take me back to my dimension? The route we had discovered for me to get back home before was destroyed by R4. Of course I'll take you. Although I'm not actually the one who can move through worlds. That's Krusty's thing. Krusty? So, where is this person? It'd be the fairy in the book, right? I forget what her actual name was. That's not, that's not her name, though. It was Croissoir or something like that. She was like the evil fairy from Rebirth 2 or wait, Rebirth 3. Uh, like, there's a scene after the ending credits where she th she goes to a new dimension and then someone shows up and catches her or whatever. Obviously, it was this Neptune. Right. Just right. All is right. Hope you're having a good night tonight. When we made it to this world, we saw some huge giant. Then she said it looked interesting and flew off after it. We found our next objective. Yeah, we've defeated that pop-up hag. So starting tomorrow, we're, let's look for Krusty. Okay. Wait, so she's lost track of the, the fairy? We have to prepare properly? Hmm. I got 12... 30%. Trust at this point is less than 800. It's like 600. Can I make any stuff? Oh, there's no uh, making stuff here. Nothing better right now. Oh, there's for her. Wait, but it's still a... Oh, because it's the basic version of... One I found in the dungeon, which is like the alpha version. So it's actually weaker. Rip. That's an improvement, though. Expensive. That will cost like all of my money. I am. I mean, you only. You might as well. You only need money. It's like psh, money's optional. Maybe route building, huh? Oh, no, I can't. Hmm. <laughs> Neptune big? You call this one big, Neptune, huh? Well, we didn't want to call her old, because she's not old, right? Hmm. can finally get some food. Could I talk to you for a second? Hmm? What's up? I know this is kind of selfish of me, but would it be okay for me to call you Big Sis? Big Sis. Big Big Sis. Oh, so that's what this is about. Sure, Nepgear. That's quite alright with me. Thank you, Big Sis. Ooh, such a new feeling. Could you call me that one more time? Okay, big sis. Oh, man. 
eggs. This sounds so great. Please, just one more. One more time. Big sis. One more. Uh. Big sis. Uh, um, how long is this going to go on for? One more set. Uh, um. Calm down, Big Neptune. I should take a bath after sweating so darn much. Uh, we're gonna get a saucy image here. We've already gotten one. <gasps> we did! Whew, what a nice bath. Yeah, looking out at the scenery while taking a bath in a barrel is nice. It kinda has its own charm. I think it'd be even nicer if all three of us weren't squished in here. I guess it was a stretch for all three of us to get in. No way! Baths are the best when everyone takes them together! That's the trope! The, the trope, huh? I'll have to write about this later in my nep note. Huh? Isn't that your specimen book? A nep note is a notebook, you know? It's a convenient notebook that I write in along with being a specimen book. Well, so it's also a diary. Also, if something I put in the book has a special bit, has it has as a spe has wait, ha this typo has a special ability. F twelve, F twelve. This would be an interesting screen to F twelve on. Oh my gosh! If something I put in the book has a special ability, I can draw out a part of that power and use it freely. That's amazing. I can't believe a book like that exists. Because I've had this notebook, I was able to travel to different dimensions using Krusty's ability. But this is the first time I've taken a bath together with friends like this. Ah, what bliss. Hey, Gearsy? Um, well, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. You're still feeling guilty? I'm not bothered by it, so you shouldn't feel responsible, Izume. But because of me... <gasps> because of me. It's okay. It would have been irresponsible of me to leave while some serious problems of yours remained unsolved. As a result, I was still able to find a way back home, so I'm glad. But you still won't come with me, will you? Yeah, it's such a kind offer for you to make, but I can't. I'm sorry. Please, don't worry. It's okay. Even if I forced you to come, I'd just feel too bad knowing you wouldn't be happy. You know, Nepsi asked me if I wanted to come to your world, too. She did? Yep, she was worried about the same thing you are. But in the end, I'm a CPU. Someday, I'm going to rebuild this nation so that people can live here again. If I build it, they will come. Well, I haven't heard a line like that before. I'm starting from scratch, and this place is a wasteland. But all I see is a field of dreams. If my dream comes true, I can come visit you. Promise? Promise. I really want that to happen, so I swear I'll get you back to your world. Okay. <laughs> hmm? Why are you giggling? I just thought you were being cool. Oh, he loves being cool. Oh, really? You finally get how cool I am, huh? Yeah, just like I thought. I knew I was awesome. Oh, but you really are kind of cute. Getting so worked up about someone thinking you're cool. God damn it. I'm not cute. I'm cool. The power system's broken after all. I can't use it like this. How's it, Gearsy? Can it be fixed? The power system is completely broken, so it looks like repairs are impossible. I see. If only there were a replacement part or something. Oh, that's it! There was that method. Uzume, could you let me borrow your visual radio? Y you're not thinking of taking a part out of it, are you? Of course not. I was going to add some parts from the end gear to the radio. 
You did want me to modify it. It's perfect. Perfect. But is that all right? Isn't that end gear really important? I have a bunch of them back in my world, so it's perfectly fine. She's got like 10 end gears back in her world. She's got a whole collection. It's finished. It doesn't look any different, though. If it got too big, it would get in the way of your wrist. So I did my best to compress it all inside. It's not 100% like the end gear, but most of the functions should be usable. And its original functions have been improved. Really? You're amazing, Gearsy. Please take good care of it. You bet. I'll take care of it for life. That's right. Station! Oh, wait. She, she, she. You stealing my line, Neptune? Napstation! It's your favorite info program. Program. Napstation! Now in Technicolor. This is your new and slightly nervous host, Neptune, and. Nervous? Really? Uzume Tenoboshi. Reporting in. Hi, Big Nepsy. Hi, Uzume! So, straight to the point. I didn't think I'd show up here so soon after my first appearance. This show will get stuck in a rut if it's just me and Nepsy, so we gotta spice it up somehow. Darn straight! Still, you really saved our bacon by dropping in on us recently. Thanks again. You don't have to thank me. Thank the Skyfish. They're the real MVPs. I was just hungry. <laughs> okay. Hey, are Skyfish yummy? Can you actually eat them? Great question, Isme. I don't know, but they're called skyfish, so they should be edible, right? I think they're a kind of whitefish. You really haven't eaten them, Isme? No, I haven't. But they're UMAs, unidentified mysterious animals. You know, I'm curious. And I just have to prove they exist by catching and eating it. Bring it on. Um, da, 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 da. But for now, let's pull this back together and go to the episode preview. I'll leave it to you, Big Nepsy. The everyday life we believed in without question crumbled away in a single instant. Our familiar landscape, wrapped in flames. A daunting frame ar rises. Uh -oh. Reunited in gunfire. What did Nepgear and I feel? Next episode, mobile game soldier Neptune. Its name is Nepgeardom. Revive in the land of war. Nepgeardom. So Nepgear Gundam? What? <sighs> She's sleeping. She's having a good sleep there. Why, 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 why is our four our boar trying to get our attention? Hey! Wake up, you fools! Stop making so much noise in the morning, soup stock! Wait, what? Who the hell is soup stock? I need food! Right now! I can't stand it! This mortal form has grown weak! I need sustenance! Dude. Oh, man. Too much trouble. Ooh, these weeds look edible. Here you go. Some well healthy wild plants. I heard you say weeds just now. Don't you mock me. I mean, weeds are just plants. We just call plants weeds if we don't like them, right? They're all technically just plants. Oh, you know, she's not wrong. They're plants. Damn it. I can't escape when this book is absorbing my powers. On top of that, I'm so hungry I can't muster any strength. If I could at least eat something, I could probably gather enough power. Oh, since you started talking about food, now I'm getting hungry, Arbor. I wonder if we can have any breakfast. Let's have some breakfast. 
we can! I gathered a bunch of edible looking plants and vegetables while on a walk. And Usume is about to cook some for us. Yippee! Alright! Older Nep Neptune not big on pudding. Here's my fish and vegetable roast. I made a lot, so have as much as you'd like. This looks great! I've always wanted to eat fish prepared this way. It's delicious! It's not all overcooked and rubbery either! You did great! Oh my gosh, Uzume is a good cook. Come cook for me! I'm glad you like it so much. Here, I have more, so keep going. Hey, Uzume! What are these shriveled purple looking things on this skewer? Eggplant? I knew it! That's eggplant. Have you never eaten any eggplant before? I just happened to find some fresh and tasty looking eggplants. Uh-huh. Are we gonna find out if Big Neptune doesn't like eggplant like Little Neptune? Oh, 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 we are. Hmm, so this is eggplant. Down the hatch! <laughs> Oh. How's it taste? Nope, she didn't like it either. Some things transcend dimensions, such as food tastes. What is this food? It's beyond disgusting. In fact, I'd say it's borderline dangerous. Really? I thought they tasted pretty good. No, 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 no. I'd rather eat Umio before eating this freaky blackish-purple garbage. Oh, I think Umio's offended right now. Now there's no need to eat me. Now, Nepsy, you're all grown up now, so you should eat all kinds of foods without being picky. You understand? What? But this doesn't taste good at all. The texture's all squishy and gross, too. Oh... Umio's like a nagging dad. This stuff isn't food for people at all. <sighs> what to do? Oh, really? And why don't I eat it for you? His voice! Arbor! You'll really eat it for me? Shh, don't talk so loud. As you know, I'm quite famished. And this is a fair deal, isn't it? It's more than I could hope for if you'll eat it. You are being serious. Then release me from this book so I may eat. Nope. Tch. But in return, I'll feed them to you. Here. <laughs> okay, she's just like um, putting the eggplants in the book, I guess. I am most grateful. Food. Yes, what delicious eggplant. It's truly an eggplantish eggplant. What? What's next? An eggish egg? A baconish bacon? A cheeseburgerish cheeseburger? I would hope the thing tastes like the thing it is. <laughs> what? Okay. Let's start our Boar's torture session. Uh oh. Prophelia ish prophelia. That's right. I'm a prophelia ish prophelia. That's right. That's right. That's right. What's up? What's happening? How's it going, Enigma? How you doing tonight? Uh, feeling I'm about to feel bad, bad for our four here. Let's begin our Boar's torture meeting number one. Torture meeting? I believe you mean interrogation, Nepsy. Eh, same difference. I'm pretty sure they're very different. Now, we'll have you spill everything. Who are you and what's the hell what the hell's your objective? Very well. I will answer your questions. Huh? You're surprisingly willing. My name is R4. I am the one who will bring destruction to this world and death to the CPUs. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, we know that. Yes, you've said it many times. <laughs> Correct. We understand those points very well from what has transpired. <sighs> Dare the likes of you brats and a fish! Ooh, ooh, me, me! I have a question for Arbor. What do you do after you defeat Uzume? You can't even figure that out without me answering. After she is defeated, I will destroy this world, of course. That's the part I really don't get. If you destroy the world, won't you disappear along with it? What's the point of doing something like that? I don't care. My destiny is to destroy this world along with the CPUs. And I won't let anyone get in the way. And I'm asking why you do such a thing when you disappear, too! <laughs> if you can't wrap your head around my noble purpose, then you're more hopeless than I'd already assumed. Jeez, you're such a meanie, Arbor. I mean, that's a fair point. Why would you do something that's going to end in your own destruction as well? Seems kind of stupid. Oh, I found a terminal that can go online. I can make calls now. We got to call. Resume is, is okay. Is it okay? F12. God damn. Is it okay if I borrow your visual radio for a little while? Sure. What are you going to do with it? I found a working terminal over there. So I thought I'd try to see if I could contact Histoire. Can I come with you? If possible, I'd like to talk to Nepsy too. Of course. Oh, but there's no guarantee that I'm going to be able to contact them. It's fine. An outside terminal might do the trick, though. They're way more stable. Ooh, I wonder what Nepsy's up to right now. Maybe she wants to see us so badly she's, like, trembling. She did say this world wasn't so bad. So she might pop back over here. And it would be like double the Nepsy. Double the fantastic fun. Oh, I totally want to make that happen. Now, can her power to make what she imagines a reality affect different dimensions? Could her saying this make little Neptune actually appear? Hmm. Uzume? Language? Huh? Oh. <coughs> well, you know, it's good to try stuff out. So we might as well since we have nothing to lose. I did it. It connected. Hello? It's me, Nepgear. Nep Jr.? I'm so glad you're safe. Yes, I'm all right. After you left, we managed to escape, and at, right now we're at Uzume's main base. Yep, me, Gearsy, and Umio are all safe. Sorry for making you worry. Long time no seeing you either, Uzume. I'm glad you're safe. I was worried about what happened, but I'm glad everyone's alright. Oh, Neptune, could you switch over to Eastwar? I wanted to talk with her about what her next step is. Uh, I'd switch with her in a snap for you, but actually, Isti's currently out like a light. What? It looks like she pushed herself a lot to transfer me from there to here, and she short-circuited. Will she be alright? We just installed an update patch on her, so she should be fine. Hopefully. It's actually in the middle of installing, so we're just gonna wait for her to restart. I know it's rough, but you just gotta wait a little longer out there. We're working real hard to, on finding a way for you to come back right away. Okay, I understand. By the way, what's the latest out there? What's happened with Arbor? Well, about that... Holy smokes! You and Uzume are pretty darn awesome to beat our snore like that. But even more surprising is the fact that you met up with a different dimension version of me. If I knew that was going to happen, I would have just stuck around. Oh, where's the other me right now? She said she was going to go out on a walk, but she hasn't come back just yet. 
Oh, what a bummer. Next time you call me, you should put her on if she's around. So, Neptune? About me getting back to our world. We've actually found out more... What, we've actually found one more method over here. Really? Yes, there's a person named Krosty who came to this world with bigger Neptune. And she apparently has the power to travel between dimensions. The hang-up is that they got separated, so we're currently looking for her. Ooh, that's great! So, as long as you find that person, you can come back! Sorry, I wanted to tell you sooner, but... It's no problem! We were gonna have to fix Isti either way! Oh, question marks? Who's this? Nep, where are you? Whoops! Looks like I have to call in. If something else happens, give me a ring! I'll keep working over here to make sure things turn out all right. See you! He hung up. Glad to see Nepsis in good spirits. But there's nothing wrong with having more than one way to get home. We need to find Krusty. That's right, we do. Hmm? What's wrong, Big Nepsy? Hey, Usume! What's for lunch today? Man, already? You just ate breakfast. She's she's a big girl now. She she needs all the food. She, she, she needs it all. I'm just curious. Uh-huh. Let's see. We still have a lot of the plants and vegetables Gearsy gathered, so we gotta finish eating those. Sorry, I didn't think there was going to be any supplies here, so I got carried away. Does that mean eggplant for lunch, too? Why don't you use this opportunity to fix your picking eating habits, Nepsy? Never. Even if roasted eggplant doesn't suit your tastes, you may be able to eat eggplant cooked in other ways. No way, 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 no way! I have no idea how many no ways that is. I figured. Neptune really hates them from the depths of her soul. Doesn't matter if it's a different Neptune. <sighs> Why does such a food like eggplant exist in this world? Then, for your own sake, why don't I lend you my wisdom? Really? Wait, I thought you weren't, weren't going to speak with us anymore, Arbor. Small details don't matter at the moment. This will be beneficial to you as well. Beneficial? What are you going to do for me? I will consume all of the eggplants. Excuse me? What are you saying? You detest eggplants, right? Then, if I were to eat all of them, then there can never be eggplants laid on the dining table. Ooh, that really is beneficial. You won't have to eat the thing you dislike, and I can satiate my hunger. It's a win-win. I'll bring over the eggplants right away. Neptune, even I can't eat them raw. It's totally fine. You were eating those eggplants from before so happily. You like them raw too. Uh... I don't know. Uh, cooked vegetables taste way better, so... <laughs> Poor lady. One thing I've noticed is there's so, there's so much unvoiced, like, dialogue boxes now. In this one. Maybe there were in previous games. This one feels much more like in your face. Go through this dialogue. Go through this dialogue. Go through this dialogue. Go through this dialogue. Before it felt kind of optional with the chirpers. I'd read a lot of chirper dialogue too, but... I don't feel like there was this much side scenes or whatever. That you have to see before you can progress the main story. I guess they're not side scenes then. Do this one and then do this one and then do this one. Hmm, which one should we do? What should we make for lunch? 
Can you hear me? Can you hear me? No. Huh? Whose voice is this? This is a voice from heaven. Right now, I'm speaking directly to your soul. You do not need to force yourself to eat what you hate. This R for them. What you must do is dispose of what you dislike. But is it? It is wrong to waste food. I'm not sure who you are, but I don't have any foods I dislike. So you don't have to worry about me. Wait, seriously? Yes, seriously. Hmm? I feel like I've heard that voice before. Barn, our boar not gonna be able to get anything from Neptune. Is her goal just to have 500 tons of food? And get, use that to get all her energy back and escape? I am a bit peckish. Now then, I wonder what's for today's lunch. Perhaps I will peruse our supplies. Mm, what a large amount of freshwater fish. Uzume is probably responsible for this. How worrisome. What should I do? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? What is this voice? Who is speaking to me? This is a voice from heaven. Right now. I'm speaking directly to your soul. Oh. You do not need to force yourself to eat what you hate. What you must do is dispose of what you dislike. But it is wrong to waste food. Then what am I to do? R4. Dispose of the food you hate by feeding them to R4. This way, you will not be throwing it away. Ah, of course. I don't know who you are, but I am very grateful for your wisdom. You're surprisingly stupid right now, Uzume. Uh, Umio, I, I was under the impression he was like the smartest one of the group. But right now, he's pretty fucking stupid. I'm gonna believe just some disembodied voice speaking to you from heaven to your, to your soul telling you to give R4 food. Fish for brains. Almost time for lunch, huh? Alright, what can I use to make lunch? Uh, shiitake mushrooms? I bet Umio snuck those in. I don't feel right just throwing them away just because I hate them. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? But what the hell's this voice? Who's calling me? This is a voice from heaven. Right now. I'm not spe- I'm speaking directly to your soul. You do not need to force yourself to eat what you hate. What you must do is dispose of what you dislike. But it is wrong to waste food. Then what should I do? R4. Dispose of the food you hate by feeding them to R4. This way. You will not be throwing it away. Oh, nice idea. Thanks, voice from heaven. Now, I'm not surprised that Uzume believed it. Because, um... He's not quite as, uh... Ditsy as Neptune, in my opinion, but she's not far off. She's got ways to go to go to Pluto's level now, right? <laughs> Hmm, Big Napsy's specimen book was... Here it is. What should I make for lunch today? Oh, I know. I'll use this opportunity to help everyone overcome their pickiness. Huh? The eggplant shiitake and fish are missing. That's strange. I thought we had plenty during breakfast. Wh what was that noise? Uzume, I just heard a huge noise. What happened? <laughs> finally, finally, I am free. Just had to eat a shit ton of food. I don't buy. I don't buy that your your, your stomach would be that slim after eating all that food. I eat any food and I go. Bleh. 
You balloon out, right? You eat a bunch of food, you're like, what? Up? You got food coma. I don't, I don't buy that. Where, where's your, where's your food coma stomach? Come on, though. I think I can update the visual arts for that, but still. This voice is our force. Holy baloney! That old lady is our boar. That's right. Big Nepsi had yet to see her in this form. How can this be? I thought she was trapped in Neptune's specimen book. Yeah, even Krusty couldn't escape from that notebook. Once I get serious, breaking such a seal becomes a trivial matter. Not only that, but you fools fed me and gave me the strength to do it. What do you mean by that? Ah, huh, why don't you ask your friends? <clears throat> Son of a bitch. You tricked me, didn't you? It's the absolute worst to take advantage of other people's kindness. I would never have imagined such a heavenly voice would have belonged to the likes of you. Um, the reason all the foods that everyone hates was missing? Was it possibly... Nepgear might actually get mad here. I'm real sorry. This is all because I hate those mushrooms. If I had simply endured and ate those freshwater fish, this would that never have. Hey, I didn't do anything wrong, okay? What's at fault here are the eggplants. How foolish humans, uh, CPUs, and fishmen are. <laughs> right. <sighs> Fucking God. Oh my God, these people are stupid, stupid idiots. Gary's like, done. Why can't you people just eat food? Even if you don't like it. Well, what's done is done. We'll just have to defeat you one more time. Yeah, you're gonna pay for what you've done. Hmm, I'm outnumbered in this situation. You think I would fight you straight on? You asshole, you're running away. Running? No, I am merely retreating for now. So that I can once again throw you all into despair. Um... Retreating is running away. I hate to say it, but retreating is running away. So there. So yes, you are running away. Spend what's left of your precious time carefully. <laughs> you made a clean break. He's quite the strategist to take advantage of the foods we dislike. R4 is formidable. It's probably best that we don't use those foods for meals from now on. So this will never happen again. Or you could just not. Give it to her? Yeah. Indeed. Uh, um, is there no option for all of you to try and overcome your dislikes? Nope. Negative. There's no way. Just as I thought. Right. But what to do? Our force escaped. Our force managed to get away. But what will we do? We're chasing after her, of course. Now that she knows where this base is, we don't know when she'll attack. Sorry, we can't go and search for that crusty person, Gearsy. Oh, don't worry about me. Besides, if this place gets attacked, then it would be terrible for all the monsters living here. Uh, yeah. I owe you one. Man, I really dropped the ball, too. I didn't know there was a way to escape my specimen book. Without any clues, how will we locate R4? That's the problem, isn't it? Then she just disappeared. We have no idea where to look. Don't sweat it! This magical rod will lead the way for us! What's that? It's just a stick. I grabbed it from over there! So, you stand this up on the ground... ...and let go! 
the magical rod is pointing that away. So R4 must buy over there. Must be over there. F12. God damn it. But didn't you just pick it up from the ground? At this point, let's not worry about details. We don't have any clues anyhow. Let's try looking in the direction it pointed. Maybe she has magical powers or something. I'll tell you about route building, huh? You tried route building? If you wish to go to a dungeon or another city in this world, you will have have create, have to create. I think I've read this one. This one sounds familiar. It was a lot of reading. As expected. That's why that's why we uh, ended stream last time before. Because I was like, it's going to be a bunch of words. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it! Hmm. Oh. I can't go from like there to there. I can go up over there first. Let's go around over there. Actually, there's no point in selecting that far ahead because you're gonna run into a monster fight and then you have to reselect all over again. Or, or is it actually gonna get? Whoa, it actually got all the way there. What the fuck? Really? I didn't run into a single fight. I really didn't run into a single fight? That's amazing. That's astounding to me. And for some more redacted diaries? Oh, this terminal is still working. Maybe there's some information left on it. But wait, she doesn't have her nep gear anymore. Didn't she give her not her nep gear, her end gear? But never end gear. She like put it into Uzume's wrist thing. So how is she visually using that end gear right there? She didn't ask to borrow the thing from Uzuma. She just it, it, this this scene seems like it's out of place. Hmm. I found something. Redacted month, redacted day. I caught wind of some info that the organization is planning the assassination of <laughs> definitely not Uzume. Redacted month, redacted day. All we can do is rely on the assassination. The Basilicom has decided to turn a blind eye. Redacted month, redacted day. Is there no way to prevent the assassination? I'm mortified at my own powerlessness. Something month, something day. So, uh, blah, 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 definitely not Uzume's assassination failed. I feel relieved knowing that she remains safe. This entry. It's much more detailed than anything else I've found. Is there... Yes, there's more. Dr. Mark for Dr. Day. So who knows? Definitely not Uzume. Return to normal. However, blah, 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 feelings of guilt eat away at her. Something done, something day, something wished for, something. If that is her wish, I will grant it for her. Wait, did Uzume wish for death? Greetings, Gearsy. What are you looking upon with such a serious expression? Umio, please take a look at this. I think I might have found why this world fell into this situation. Hmm, I see. It is fragmented, but you can read most of what it contains. If we consider this along with the other entries, some person led everyone to the brink of destruction, regardless of her will. I can see that, too. This also says that she felt incredibly sad about it. Do you think she lost control of herself and went on a blind rampage? That's what I think. It's very possible. Then, my next question is... Who is this referring to? This is merely conjecture, but R4 and the giant come to mind, as they have the similar point of bringing about destruction. 
So that means this world really was destroyed by one of those two? It's also probable that the other CPUs aside from Uzume were killed by one of the two. That would indeed explain the absence of the other CPUs. Hmm, thank you, Gearsy. They're only theories, but I've come to understand this world and its enemies. I'm glad to be of help. But if R4 does end up being the person who destroyed this world, can we win? I mean, we already won before. What are you getting all wimpy for, Gearsy? We're going to win. Uzume? How long have you been listening to us? A while. I heard all of it. No matter what her identity is, we'll fight for those who are still living in this world now. Right? I mean, it's yourself, but okay. Yes, of course. Let's do whatever we can for the sake of this world. Right, right, right. She doesn't have any good combos. Huh? Oh yeah, wait. She's got new weapons, so I have to check her combos. Looks like her, uh, square works. Oh, I'm real. I'm Nepgear. It's nice to meet you. Shut up. I already know you. Oh, I haven't used power. Sure. Oh. Ooh, this one's got pretty good, uh, stuff. I think Rush is the only thing I can fully do. I'll work hard to become a fully fledged CPU. Here? Could this be? Hey, Gearsy. Did you feel it too, Uzume? What's going on? Is it some special thing that only CPUs can understand? I can feel a large amount of share energy from up ahead. It feels like a share crystal. Share crystal? What's that? Is that some kind of rare item? To explain simply, it's a crystal with share energy condensed into it. In layman's terms, it's a CPU's power-up item. I wouldn't have expected to run into a share crystal in this place. Perhaps that stick from before truly was a magical rod. It might help us for what's coming, so let's collect it. I mean, is that over here? We're going to a stadium. Wow! Going here? What is that giant thing? That's your hitbox. You let your guard down. Leave this to me. My turn. Spread your burden. Finally. I'll chop you up. Maybe you should have. This wins probably because of all my good deeds. Oh, look.
Open sesame. Okay, fine. Looks suspicious. Oh, I know it. You want to play with me? No. Yeah. What should I do? Wrangles. Don't underestimate me. All right, into the specimen book. Hmm. Wonder about stealing. Doesn't use any XP or SP or whatever. She missed. Oh, she doesn't count as a third person, even though she's in my party, does she? Oh, I can't use uh, formation skills. Yeah. What should I do? I'm gonna try stealing. Oh, let's defend. Wrong button. Keep messing. I'm a force of fury. Ouch! What should I do? I'll heal you. Ooh, I'll end this all. I shall go forth. <laughs> Just kidding. My turn. Keeps messing. Yeah. I'll be serious. Now, who to choose? Finally. What should I do? Did we clear? Could we get something? It didn't say if we got anything. Or didn't get anything for that matter. Ouch! I'll be serious! We go! Ooh, nice! I didn't see a pop-up. Oh, there we go. We can steal items. Seems to have a very low rate of success, though. Can't believe I got pushed this hard. Probably be useful for a um, uh... Oh, oh, me, me. Yes, I'd like to get healed, please. Shut up. Be useful for a uh... making items, though. Where was that guy? A lot of those. Hmm. How low which category the snake guy was at? I was gonna check his dropped items, but... I'll beat you to a bloody pulp. What should I do? Well, you'd be in the paw thing, huh? I'll end this all. I don't think I can get both.
Oh yeah, steels are pretty. Those are pretty good, right? This is the essence of dual wielding. Steels are pretty good. Yeah. Didn't kill him. Yeah, that's because we didn't kill him. Didn't kill him! Not quite sure how. Maybe you should. I guess you did. Actually, have to use my for regulments now. You're never gonna keep me down. Not bad. I messed up real bad. I even used that when I could just heal. There were a lot of them. There was a lot of them. Yeah, but. That's how it's felt at the start of every dungeon. I got my derriere handed to me. Alright. Where's the, uh. Down. Mm. Let's do our best, everyone. You just got a lot taking that. All right. I messed up real bad. Ooh. To the chest. Targets confirmed. Dragon attack. Major damage. Not bad. Major damage. Sorry, I should heal. You suck. We do. Oh, these guys are too weak to worry about that. Oh, his shell. That's so rude. available right now. I 
still can't buy the 800 whatevers. I still can't buy any healing grass. But we're getting to the point where the 30% is about the same, so... We could uh, look for that hidden treasure and just beat up stuff. Get some X, please. We're probably good enough to do the uh, dungeon, but we're gonna suffer until we level up. I think it's just the. Uh, Barriers here. Let's go. One on one. What should I do? Finally. Only defend it. I'll end this all. I'll I this shall go next. Eh, try to skip too fast, you end up defending. Because I've been picking power moves though. To square and defend to square. You want to play with me? What should I do? I'm a force of fury. All right, oh, right? Get to the specimen book. You're so naive. What should I do? Next. Yay, we won! Yes! 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 Yay! Successful surprise attack! You were such a Maybe I should have we won! We won! W-I-N. We are in win! No special hidden treasures up here. I'm curious if those hidden treasure stars are for, uh... All right. I'm ready those uh, treasures I saw that were hidden behind boxes that I couldn't destroy at the time. Yeah. Paralysis is another status effect. When your body begins, or when your turn begins, you t your turn... Wait, when your turn begins, your turn may end without being able to take any action. When you're paralyzed, it will display the status around the character and on their info at the bottom of the screen. You can use the item Parallaxin to heal, heal paralysis. Wow. Somebody got paralyzed, but they're already unparalyzed that I could tell, because I don't see the status effect everywhere. Paralyzed for zero seconds. Oh, the enemy got paralyzed. The enemy got paralyzed. I feel bad for that guy. I'm surprised he gave me a tutorial for the enemy getting paralyzed and not me. But okay. Wait, which way did I come from? I came from there, right? I think so. Can't jump up there. I technically haven't been to the end of these pathways. I don't think there's gonna be treasure though. So my curiosity must be quelled. Yep, no treasure. A marathon runner or should jump too all about it. Like a bunny. Jump. Jump. Like a bunny. 
At least it's not like a kangaroo. That's totally how people jump. Wee wee wee. Like a bunny. Jump, jump, jump. Like a bunny. Jump, like a bunny. Holy, like a bunny. Yes. Suspicious, but okay. It totally kind of looks like you could sneak behind those lockers, but okay. Wow, 59 crit. Wow, healing grass I like. Yeah. Healing grass is cool. Give me more of that. She put a this all. You were so fun far. Maybe I should. Oh, you can skip the ending thing, too. Wow. Oh, wait, really? Oh, so you have to level this ability up to. Go everywhere. See. Whoa. What's up? What's happening? How's it going, King? How you doing tonight? I hope you're doing awesome tonight. We need some Pisces put it in our lives. We're exploring this dungeon with our new box breaking ability to see if there's cool stuff we can get. And we couldn't be get before. Apparently, we can't break steel boxes. Uh, just like boring old wood boxes. I guess we get a, a, an upgrade at some point. That'll be exciting. Thanks. Just what I wanted. Dung. Oop. 
I wanted poop that's right the top the hat just iron ore. Wow. No way. You've got some guts to fight me. I'll be serious. Hey, Cardo no end. What's up? What's happening? How's it going? Southern. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Right. I, I'm totally um, uh, just, I'm from Atlantis, the lost city of Atlantis. Have you heard of it? Definitely. Coley. Wait, where did I come from here? Uh. I've sold you. Oh, you believe me, huh? Okay, okay, okay. It's good. It's good. Where are those metal ones? Check over here. I decided to come back here and look at this dungeon to destroy the boxes. See if we get cool stuff. All that happens is I found out there's more boxes I can't destroy yet. How dare they? How dare they? New record? Wow. Let's do our best, everyone. I'm here to beat up some monsters. The bully people. Recognized characters never knew they were from a game. We thought they were vocaloids. Ah, the Neptunia series is a video game series. Not Vocaloids. We got the first Let's crush them. Amazing! Although they'd probably p make pretty cool Vocaloids. Any boxes over here? No. Onward! Yeah. More metal ones I can't destroy! Destroy those though. Yeah. Pop! Yeah. Pop! But not the metal ones yet. We'll be forcing our way through. Yep. Uh, wrong button. Much but more metal boxes up here. I see. Fighting screenshots. Pow! Pow! Those ones look wooden. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. What do you mean it's a dead eye? Totally squeezed through right there. Come on. Enough! 
nothing. I guess that's about everything I can do here right now. I upgrade my box brick and I can come back and get these metal ones. Oh yeah, I can't go that way right now. Wait, hey, didn't I come from that direction before? That's that barrier from before. Let's get out of here. We can figure out how to get out of here. That one or that one? I feel like the one across the hall, maybe. Maybe I'll catch them to put in my skate. Now, who to choose? Yeah. Let's nip the Leave it to me. Next, we won. Let's go. Look, we made it to area one. Get out of here! Exit! There's hidden treasure two stars. I don't know how to find the hidden treasures yet, though. I might need the metal box destroying thing. Shut up. I guess we're gonna go back to the dungeon. Let's go. There's nothing else I can make right now. We'll be forcing our way what through. What should I do? I should kill that. is where we're supposed to be but i was getting uh destroyed so i was like um uh, i'm gonna go check out some other dungeon and stuff and thing. you guys were ruthless Oh, he's paralyzed. I'll be serious. My turn. Don't underestimate your time. You shall go forth. It's my turn. I'll end this all. Don't underestimate me. All right, let's be next. We're level 21! Woohoo! Well, enemy design so random, but alright. Like, what the heck is this thing? What is- what is this abomination? What- what is- I'll hear you! Thanks for that! I'm a force of fury!
Combo tax been acquired. Giga Deidre. Kind of nice if you healed me soon, baby. Never. Why? I'm seeing a megaphone used as a weapon. Now you have. Maybe. Now you have. <laughs> I haven't gone this direction yet. Let's go. Where? Well, that's a lot of enemies. I still don't have formation skills. Ouch. Can I get all three of you? I don't think I can get all three. My turn. These guys don't do much damage, actually. Series only started toy I thought it might be something like from the 90s. Not quite that old. This is the fourth g game in the main series. There's a whole bunch of spin off games, too. So there, it, it made a lot of games. Multi shock waves. All right, Lily rank up. That's exciting. Super, what's up? Ah, I didn't even know she had a third thing. Previous attack was power, though. Ah, those things don't uh, work for this setup. Oh, this is the one. No combo tray, one fifty five. She doesn't have any good uh, combo treat. Increased attack with power. The combos you could make uh, depend on the weapons. You can use like special bonuses if you have like uh, them arranged in a certain way, but Busabe doesn't have any good uh, combo skills to utilize that. So she just got regular old attacks with no bonuses right now. Okay. Oh. Maybe I 
should have put them in my book. I'm just glad I finished what I started. She's glad she finished what she started. Maybe I'll catch them to put in my special. Don't come out, you have to manage a game company? What's no, is that true? I don't know anything about that. Alright, it feels like they're always making a new one. This universe is based on, like, uh, ga game things, though. There's a lot of game references. Well, you're paralyzed. Sucks to be you, man. Plains of Marga pipe enemies. All, all the enemies are probably fr from some game somewhere. I don't know, like, pretty much all the references. Oh, I bet this is the Metal Box equivalent. I bet. I'm sure they're all from something. That's a lot. Oh yeah, I forgot that you can do extra damage behind him. All right, defeated. Next. Yeah. Yeah. I've all spraced out so far, I can't get everybody. Round button. I'll hear you. Nice tiny. My turn. Can't reach you other. Guess we're just healing right now. Red ones don't do anything though. You gotta do like nothing to me. What's up with that? I don't think so. It's because their HP reached zero and yours did not. You let your guard down. I'll be serious. Yeah, I should have healed between battles. Yeah, she might die. Yep. Yeah, she had healed between battles. What should I do? Who the healed between fights? Rawr. Here you go. You're never gonna keep me down. Let's nip things up. Useless, useless, useless. Maybe I should have put them on my back. You're not half bad. 
And she's dead again. Now let's just kill it. Well, let's just kill it. Get it! Get it! Get it! Did everyone see how I did? Actually, I don't need to use, uh... Items for that. I can just use... SP for the boop, everybody back. What's this? Yeah. Yeah. Hey Mexican boy, what's up? What's happening? How's it going? Going pretty well for me. We're exploring a new dungeon. Continuing our first playthrough. Looks pretty serious in here. Grass at inventory, definitely not a real gamer. <gasps> that's a that's a name for an item right there. Pimp star. Uh, I mean, okay. All right. I don't know if I'd name my item that, but okay. What's this? Well, that's the that's the gear I bought for. How dare you have it in the dungeon? Wasted my money by a bat. Neptune makes her appearance. Hmm, can I get both of you? I don't think so. Almost died. You went to the beach on Sunday, and of course, where there's any body of water, there's gators down in Florida, definitely. I wouldn't go in any body of water in Florida. Wait, this is a dead end, isn't it? Oh, wait, okay. Forget what was, what was in the murky water. An owl on my day toy. I just wanted to say hi to you. Wanted to be friendly. It was gonna be your best bud. I can't believe you didn't want to make friends with the alligator. Where's your sense of adventure? Now you miss. I can't believe he didn't make a new friend! Although alligators don't usually go for people, do they? I think they usually only go for small people, aka children, don't they? Do they usually go after, like, adults? I have no idea. I have no idea, I don't intend to find out either. Be like, stay away from me. Oh, we're out. we can play so many video games on this! Wow! 
Pretty sure they'll go after anything they can grab. Ah, oh, man! There's more reason to stay away from them. You let your guard down. Personally, I wouldn't test that. Yeah, I wouldn't test that. I was behind them? How the hell can you tell if you're behind the enemy here, though, when they look like red pipes? What's the front and what's the back? They all look the same. Combo art. I'm still fine. Thank you for worrying about me. That's a standard. No previous attacks were standard. That's gonna be a worthless for me. Not really, but for safety purposes, everyone stays out of the water. Good idea! Right up the internet, you've seen too many shock videos regarding gators. I mean, they were here first. They should get dibs, right? Gators been around forever. They're basically dinosaurs. Hmm. Aww. Huh. There's got to be like a higher jump. Previous games had a higher jump plan you could make. There's got to be one in this game too. Thorage. Whoa, ha. You're all going in my specimen book. seen videos of alligators taking flight during strong hurricanes. That sounds crazy. That's just the uh, alligators coming to get their de their next meal, okay? Naughty kids will go in what my specimen do? book. I'm a force of fury. Spread your burden. Hmm. 
I'm not gonna be able to destroy these. These ones are steel. I don't have the upgrade to do that yet. Healing items! Woohoo! How's the game going? We sound ordained Christmas! Pretty common, they turn into projectiles named for roofs, cars, and backyards. That sounds terrifying. More reasons to stay away from them. The game's going pretty well. We are. Chasing after. R4, she ran away. We're chasing after her. That's why we're here. And, uh... We're totally gone. not gonna find trouble or anything. Large USB. I have no idea what that is. Looks like a disc, though. Yo, I need to heal soon. It's the second one. You don't need to heal soon. Shut up. Beating up innocent monsters who live here, w stealing their stuff, and laughing maniacally. I get both? I don't know if I can get both. Ha 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 ha. I'm fine, fine. A lot of Christmases and a row birch. Hope you'll be enough to entertain me. My turn. I'm a force of fury. Let's nip things up. Leveled up. You let your guard down. It's my turn. Now, who to choose? I shall go for it. Just try to slash and dash. I used to rap with like one HP map.
It's zero damage. She's like, did you do something? I didn't feel it. I didn't notice anything. Hmm. I feel like that way is the main way. This would be like side room treasure. You're doing well tonight. I'm just glad I finished what I started. Yeah. Bop. Oh, what are you? You're surrounded. What should I do? Yeah. I'm a force of fury. I broke his horns. Just far enough apart, I can't get both of them. That's diabolical. Okay, still pretty good. Oh, does this loot back around? Hmm. I'm zip line across an alligator pit that has 70 plus alligators inside. No, I am not zip lining. <laughs> I'm not zip lining, period, because that involves high heights and uh, I don't like high heights. Definitely not across the alligator pit, though. It's crazy. Not a hop off. Nice speaking with you. Nice speaking with you, Toe. Thanks for stopping by. You take care of yourself. <laughs> Whatever I was fighting looks like a Pokemon. This wins probably because of all my good deeds. I mean, Pokemon's a video game series, and this this is basically just a bunch of references to game series. Uh. Oh wait, I was going backwards there. Uh, I could totally see a Pokemon one. Oh, this is the other side of those boxes I couldn't destroy. 
Mm. Let's go see what's up here. See if the other way is a dead end, or if there's also another area over there. See, they're starting to respawn back in. They don't respawn as quickly as uh, monsters did in the previous games, though. They respawn in like 30 seconds in previous games. They respawn in like more like three minutes in this one. Heal up. I shall go for just kidding. Maybe I should have put him in my place. I shall go for You were also fighting Mario Pipes? Yeah! I mean, totally not Mario Pipes. Legal gadget, a new item, huh? Oh, I'm glad I'm still developing nicely. Still what? Developing nicely? Oh, okay. Alright. Ooh, Tarantulas! Turbation scope. I haven't tried that yet. I wonder what they do. Bop! Bop! They up the desert. These poor innocent monsters. Uh, their only crime is being here. All I did was show up in their home and start killing them. I'm the villain here, you know. I get all three? I don't know if I get all three at this tiny square. I don't think so. Now, who to choose? You might be able to, though. I think he's got a pretty wide... There you go. The other guys are in the way. Can't get him. These are just coincidental pipes, okay? They're not Mario at all, totally. Sonic combo attack. The previous attacks were power. That one's not going to be very useful. Are the posters stacking you? Paper cuts? I mean, yeah, probably. Just like the power of did rip off Pokemon. It's inspirational. It's inspired. Inspired. It's different. Uh, 
I didn't get it. I got thought I did. All right. Into the specimen I'm gonna get you though. Yeah, that's clearly paper cuts. I shall go for Christmas is a terrible holiday. Get out of here. Actually, Christmas is fine. I just don't like winter time, and that's when Christmas is, so. I guess it is for you guys. I want to know why that thing talks. Actually, most of these monsters talk in this game. Whoa, game industry chocolate, a rare drop. Who got chocolate? Tasty. I made Eve but just more red, I'm serious. That's Eve. Whoa, Arena! This looks like a boss fight room to me. I got a save point for it too. Shoot fox for Pokemon. Oh, Eevee? Whoops, I'm bleak. When did I scratch myself? Crazy. Uh, I've been waiting, children. Oh my god, voice dialogue in my video game? Talking about you after all. I knew you'd be drawn here by the share crystal's power. I get it. Crystal clear. You set us up, didn't you? Correct. You're all too predictable. I figured using a silly crystal would draw you all out like moths to the flame. Well, I'm the one who found the thing, you know. Ah! That day voice sounds familiar. I haven't heard it since last game, though. Wait, that voice. Crosty? Well, if it ain't my old pal Neptune. It's been a while. You having fun out here? Of course not. I went through a ton of crap because of you. You left me behind and I got really lonely. No fun at all. Whoops, my bad. I couldn't help it, though. I got kind of excited. This type of world is so interesting and rare. Nepsy, is this really Krosty? The one you were talking about earlier? That's right. 
The name's Croc. She's called that because she's crotchety. <laughs> yeah, keep flapping your gums, pal. It's related to Chronicle and you know it. Quit playing. Chronicle? As in a historical account? Nice work, fish brains. Yes, I record history. Whenever I travel to another dimension, I record all the history of that place. Wait, that sounds like a pretty important job. Why is someone like that tagging along with this haggard purple bug? Well, of course. If I'm with someone like her, the history I'm recording is gonna get real good. She's one step away from destroying this dump of a world, you know? You know how frickin' rare it is to see a world come to an end? So, you aren't our ally, then. Man, I ain't anyone's ally. And if I gotta pledge allegiance somewhere, it's gonna be with whoever makes history more... exciting. That's the story. What a shame for you boring dimwits. What do you say, Neptune? Ditch those morons and come with us. See how this plays out. We can watch the world end together. Hmm. I'll pass. I'm not a big fan of Arbor, and come on, destroying an entire world? That's pretty macabre, even for you. Ugh, their boredom has infected you, hasn't it? This kind of history isn't something you see every day, even if you want it to. Enough! Crawl! I'll have no more idle gossip. I'm going to get rid of them now. Yeah, yeah, sheesh. What a short fuse. Don't you lose this one now. Me? Lose? Ha! <laughs> Just sit there and witness the demise of these poor CPUs. This is my true form. Oh, we literally already beat you last stream. Come on. Bit of comparison in the pick room. Oh, of the, the not, not the Pokemon. Oh yeah, those ones are pretty similar. Yeah, those ones are pretty similar. It's inspired, okay? It's not it's not copy pasted. It's, it's inspired. Double crossed bad woman is back. She's back from Alaska. Ah! Uh-oh. think I'm the same as before, foolish CPU. Kneel before the brilliance of my true form! She's got even worse taste than I thought. This form! Gearsy, you know this form? She looks exactly like the final form of the deity of sin. We fought before in my world. Four-legged monster we fought earlier also looked like the deity of Sin's first form. On top of that, with Krar on her side, the chances of us winning... ...are quite slim, correct? Unfortunately, yes. Just when I finally found a way home, too. No, we're not backing down yet, Gearsy. Honestly, I've got no clue about what kind of people Krar and this deity of sin are. But if Krar's only into this because she wants to see the world get completely wrecked, all we gotta do is make sure that doesn't happen. Uzume. Don't even trip. I'm gonna beat down that purple wuss with style. Too big to handle, then I can finally face it one on one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mention Traveler Neptune reporting for duty. Wow. Defensive cheer. Ruins you all. Yeah. Uzume's turn. Finally! Power up with my Nupno! I'll be serious! Defensive cheer! Nice timing! Ta-da! Uzumi's turn! Not Don't bad! Foolish! I 
shall go forth. <laughs> Not bad. The time of the apocalypse is oh, now. To me. You're just running away. Nice timing. Spiral dream. Let's go run. So I wonder if I can steal anything. Mm. She's got no item to steal. No, what should you do? Expect her to be a furry, to be honest. Well, you know. You know, that's just how things go sometimes. She always does some. She always does some big ass tech. How dare she? Pod. Oh, she looks similar. She looks kind of like the boss of the end of Pokemon Sword. Eternatus, or at least part of her. Ooh! Hey, cat. Come to see me kick butt. Y'all?
Oh, Kel! Woohoo! Star the same bear combo attack. Level up. Ooh, I've gotten stronger. Why? Why can't I win even in this form? Looks like we've won. I forgot to transform Nepgear. I didn't even realize I could. Ah! We actually managed to win. Still, that was pretty rough. And our change in power is way too drastic, you guys. Now, Kron, will you join us? Our four has fallen, and this world will no longer be annihilated. Are you freaking kidding me, fish brains? Damn, I was so close to recording an apocalypse. Not yet. It's not over yet. Krar, give me that power. The powers of the CPU from another world. Huh? How the hell do you know about that? Have you seriously forgotten alerting me of its existence? Uh, I guess I did mention it. Oh well. I could use some amusement, so I'll let you borrow this power. What? Is that the power of Tari CPU? Wow, I'm surprised you remember, especially after being treated so horribly. Gearsy, what's that creepy black lump? It's the power of an ancient CPU that Neptune and I fought in a place called Ultra Dimension. Is R4 really gonna use that? Damn straight. Oh, now it's gonna get real exciting watching how this unfolds. Anything but that. Everyone, please stop her! All we gotta do is stop her from using it, right? Usumi, let's go. Hell yeah! Uh oh. It's useless. <sighs> oh, we can't get past her barrier. Why does she have a barrier now? She didn't have a barrier before, did she? Why now? <laughs> the power. The power flows within me. Uh oh. Power was meant for me to wield. <laughs> uh oh. Now, rats, I'd like to see you try and resist this despair if you can. Okay. serious whoa man you can really do it if you try r4 i'm getting real excited <laughs> more more sink further into despair whoa who the hell's gonna sink into despair i'll take down all you nauseating villains no matter how many times it takes umio Will the amount of share crystals we have on hand be enough to fight her? Uh, it's just not enough. We consume most of our supply when sending Nepsi back to her world. The ones we have here will barely be enough for you to transform. Even if we were to use all of them, it would not be enough to overpower her. Then what can we do? Are we just gonna die here? You know what we gotta do, right? We're just gonna take that oversized crystal from out of her grubby mitts! That's not happening. Got it! Mm. Huh! Uzume! 
Uh oh. Nepgear, if Uzume is hurt, we can't just stay here. Let's run while we can. Okay, Uzume, please grab onto my shoulder. Uh, I'm sorry, Gearzy. Please, it's all right. Don't waste your energy talking. I broke my promise to you. It doesn't matter. So please, please, let's go. You ready, Nepgear? Let's get out of here. I won't let any one of you escape. This place shall become your grave. Now, Dark CPU, strike down these weaklings with all of the power you possess. Lady, are you freaking nuts? If you do that, you're gonna make our graves here too. <laughs> What's wrong with that? My name is R4. I am the one who will bring destruction to this world and the CPUs. My life means nothing as long as... As long as I can destroy the CPUs! That's hard cover. Oh, frick. Should have known this one was batshit crazy. Now she's so juiced up with power it's knocking all her screws loose. CPUs! All of game industry! Tremble before me! And perish! Uh-oh. We gathered a lot. Wow! So many share crystals! How did you find these? Everyone from our tribe gathered them all. I wonder if this will make Miss Uzume happy. I'm sure she'll be ecstatic. Huh? Uh, what's wrong? I thought I just saw a flash of light coming from the mountains over there. I wonder what that is. Share crystals? No, no, it's something else. Share crystals glow more brightly. Hey, isn't that the direction that Miss Uzume and the others went? Oh, I hope it's nothing bad. Uh-oh. Uzume, please hold on. Just a little longer till we reach the base. I managed to dodge the big attack, huh? Something tells me that's not good. Yeah, it's not very good. We're in trouble now. Once we reach the base, we should be able to administer the proper treatment. Please. Try and stay awake until we arrive, Uzume. Uh, what do we do? Uzume's breathing is getting weaker every minute. Uh-oh. Hey, you guys! Miss Uzume's back! Really? Miss Uzume is home? Everyone hurry and get a bed and the medical equipment ready! Uh-oh. Phew. We somehow made it. Please stand aside and bring any medical supplies you have available. <sighs> Is Miss Uzume all right? Is she going to make it? To be completely honest, I don't have a definite answer for you. We may have to prepare ourselves for the worst outcome. <gasps> Game industry. It'll end if the last CPU disappears. I won't let that happen. I must save Uzume! That's a real nasty looking wound. You really think you can fix it, Nepgear? Well, I don't have any real experience with medical treatment, but if not me, then who? Who else cares enough to try and save her? Yuzi. Uzume, I'm going to borrow your visual radio for a little while, okay? Since I copied all of the Endgear's applications and databases onto this, it must have... Hmm. Found it. Here's a medical database. 
gosh. I'm so glad I put it in here. Just get a medical database and you can turn into a doctor, okay? Sure. Uzume. She will recover that. Not definite, but I'm going to do everything in my power to save her. Dang it! It's all your fault this happened to Uzume in the first place, Krosty. As punishment, I'm gonna seal you into my specimen book so this will never happen again. Well, hey! Ow! My wings are gonna frickin' tear! Hey, they managed to grab her while they were running too? What? Tape them right up and there, all done. How was I supposed to know that old bag was suicidal, too? Damn it. Oh, she ran away, too, or flew away, technically. Yep, Wikipedia, is that enough to become a doctor? Apparently so. That purple idiot didn't just take that rare CPU's power, but she took part of mine, too. This form is just way too pathetic. Elizabeth's left, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Have any new stuff? Not right now. Hey, Guru. What's up? What's happening? How's it going? I'd like a younger sis like Nepgear, too. I wonder if Nepgear would like to become my sis. My position's already taken by the other Neptune. I'll rest for a bit. I, I have to do something. We got we gotta fix this. Nepgear, how's Uzume doing? Oh my gosh, the boring voice dialogue. I was fully expecting to enter no voice dialogue territory. Meow, 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 meow. Oh, Neptune. I was able to stop the bleeding somehow, but the medicine here isn't enough. You can't make any? Well, there are some recipes in my database. But I don't have the essential ingredients. Don't worry about that. I'll get those for you. Once you have the right ingredients, you can take care of her, right? I mean, I've never made medicine before. But this is for Uzume. I know I can do it. Well said. Just as expected of my little sister. Although, you aren't really my sis, but, you know... You're so smart, Nepgear. I couldn't even compete with your intellect, but I'll help you out however I can. We're gonna save Uzume together. I'm gonna go along with you. You don't need to stay with Uzume? I've given her all the treatment I can for now. Umio and the others can keep an eye on her. Right now, the medicine is our top priority. If Uzume doesn't get it soon, her condition could escalate and become life-threatening. You think they're related? These two? No, they're not related. This this Neptune's from a different dimension. It doesn't count. We better hurry then. What a pain. If that's the case, I'll help too. Oh really? That voice. Krar? Where is she? Ta-da! She's right here. What? What's she doing in the specimen book? It was her fault that Uzume is in this condition. So, as punishment, I taped her into the book so she won't cause any more trouble. Oh, but I guess with Kurar in this form, the book actually kind of suits her. Hey, did you just laugh right now? Neptune, you better let me the hell out already. Sure. On one condition. Nepgear and I are gonna look for medicinal ingredients for Uzume. So if you lend a hand, I might consider letting you out of there. Are you for real? If that's all I gotta do, no problem. Come on, let's get to it. Hmm. 
Oh, Philly's fault. She made a world destroyer angry. Now the world's getting destroyed. I mean, the world destroyer was gonna try to destroy the world anyway. It's not my fault. It, it was gonna happen anyway. It's her fault. Try to stop her. What? I'm finally free. There we go. There, 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 there's, the, there, there's the dialogue going. Poof. We ran out here pretty energetically and all, but what exactly are the things we need to find? I believe the items are Jingu Cherry Blossoms and something called the Oratorio's Tangram? That's easy. They both drop from monsters. Woo! You're pretty knowledgeable, Krusty. I think I've regained a little respect for you. Hey, I'm not a recorder of history for nothing. Come on, stop flapping your gums and let's go already. What? Let's go. Where are we going? Oh, we're going over there, apparently. We're going over there. Oh, there's one over there, too. Okay, then. Let's go. You let your guard down. I'll be serious. Most of them. right? Into the specimen book. Let's mix things up. There. You're so naive. I'm just glad I finished what I started. You gotta choose the white Nintendo Wii. She's the black one. They're based on console. Yeah, there's a lot of gaming references. But I'll try my hardest. I feel like there was a new ability. Hot Edge, Ice Edge. Oh yeah, it was that. guys are not gonna do anything to me. You're far too weak. I guess I can't get you there. Maybe she wanted to be your friend, Pro, just like the gator wanted to be friends with you. Mm, nah. Types as enemies, interesting. Yeah, not definitely not a game reference to anything. Wow, I just got poop. Awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. What more could I possibly want? Other than not that. We're smoking something. What? Nah. This is to totally nah. That works. You want to play with me? Leave this to me. I shall go for it. You're so naive. Leave this to me. I got one. Mario Cut. I mean. This game series has base is basically based off of video games. It has lots of video game references. So yes, those pipes might be Mario references. Maybe possibly. I'm sure all the enemies are referenced to some game. Oh, there's metal ones too. Like I don't know what this guy's from, but 
I'm sure he's from some game. Them to put what in should I do? Specimen. A bunch. No. I shall go for. Oh. 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 This way is the way to go, and this way is possible treasure. I'll see if we can get the treasure yet. We couldn't get it last time we were here. You let your guard down. It's my turn. Let's nip things up. Yeah, you're so naive. Next. Green so dark, you thought it was Spider Man on a surfboard? He's like, uh, I don't think they could be that direct. Oh, looks like it's uh, metal boxes protecting the treasure. There you go. Oh, that. Oh, the one with treasure is actually this one. Prototype mechanical blade. That's cool, but that is not a type of weapon for me. That's a weapon for uh, the OG Neptune. Rip. All metal ones I can't destroy. Yeah. Yeah. Get back here! The Uberta. Naughty kids will go in my specimen book. Let's nip things up. Didn't feel a thing. Useless, useless. Did you do something? Finally. Did you do something? Useless. And these poor guys feel bad for being low levels because this is an old area. Wow. Yeah. I'll show you that I'm capable too. Finally. Okay, Far apart. Can't get over there anyway. Go in my specimen. I shall go forth. 
<laughs> Just kidding. Yeah! Sorry to slash and dash. It's my turn. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry to slash and dash, huh? There you slash and dash. You let your guard down. I'll be serious. Finally. Maybe I should have put them in my book. This wins probably because of all my good deeds. Oh my good deeds. Let's do this to roll. Yeah, let's do it. The ones you can, anyway. Like a bunny. Let's do our best, everyone. Yes! I did it. Easy. We won. You want to play with me? What should I do? Magic core. Wow. I don't know what that is, but cool. Can't destroy any of these. Yeah. Back here. Kids will go in my specimen book. I shall go for just kidding. I'll chop you up. Sorry to slash and dash. What should I do? Alright, I did a lot of damage. Let's nip things up. Sorry to slash and dash. I'm just glad I finished what I started. Well, we're gonna have to fight to get the item. Get the item. Looking avoid. Oh, okay, there we Here it is. That guy's the monster you want. Musume, please hang on. Dimension Traveler Neptune reporting me. for duty. The fuck is this? Pahul. Bully and hurt. It's my turn. I'll heal you. Ooh, thanks. Stop. Useless, useless, useless. It's my turn. Leave this to me. Yeah. Power up with my. What should I do? Heal! Ooh, thanks! Yay! I'm sure I want to see if I can steal. What should I do? Oh, kill okay, that. Yeah. Oh, you've decided to pick a different target, huh? I'm the new target. I'll be serious. Oh, what? It's my turn. You missed. Struggle that much. 
Dingo Cherry Blossoms acquired. Level up. Why? Oh, I just teleport out now that I'm done. Oh. All right. The things down there. Let's go get a heal. And go back over there. thing was just living its own life and now you just come out of nowhere and beat him and steal from him yep like I said we're the villains hmm. I'm gonna try to steal from you dot antenna If that dropped item happens to coincide with the steal, or if it just shows this stolen one as a dropped item, only more fights will tell me that. Oh, can I steal from multiple enemies? Only one at a time. CPU chips. Useless, useless. Leave this to me. I shall go forth. <laughs> Just kidding. It's my turn. I missed. Sorry. Did you do something? Didn't feel Leave a thing. I shall go forth. <laughs> Just kidding. Did you do something? How do I know which one I've stolen from and which one I haven't? I shall go forth. <laughs> just kidding. It's my turn. And can I steal multiple times? Probably just one time. Leave this to me. I shall go forth. <laughs> just yeah, just one time. What should I do? I'm sorry. Yay, we've won! Oh, okay, so dropped items and stolen items are not the same. You list the stolen items with the uh, dropped ones up. Yeah. Wow, we can get this now. What's this? Wow. Oh, that's a steel one. Can't believe the range is so short. get from you. Just, Just more CPU chips. She lets you steal rare items. Interesting. Can I get that? 
I can't. Steel one. Did be that time. Just gotta keep track of which letter one I just stole from. That's how we're gonna. That's how we're gonna do it. Gar! Turtle shell. I'll be serious. Sorry, right? Into the specimen book. Leave this to me. I got one. We won. You be. You're all be going serious. in my specimen book. Enemies over there, huh? Oh gosh. We found it. That's the monster. Let's go, Napgear. All right. Everyone, please lend me your strength. This horse was asking for it. We can steal from you. Oh, do? there's nothing to steal from you. Uh. Oh, sneaky. I 
shall go forth. <laughs> Just kidding. It's my turn. All right, get to the specimen deck. Sorry to slash and dash. I have to do better next time. Oratorius Tan Graham Aquador. We got your stuff. Level up. Way. Last edge combo attack. So basically, we got hot edge, ice edge, blast, wind edge. The next is earth right? I get all the elements. Although I guess ice is technically the water one, right? We should have what we need now. Yes, with these, we can save Usume. We better not screw up. Got it? Our lives are riding on you making this medicine the right way. Hmm, now that you've said that, I'm not- I'm getting nervous. I'm not very confident. Jeez, we gonna be alright? Hey, since I helped you guys out already, you can go ahead and let me out now. Maybe. Bastard. You're gonna break your promise? I don't recall specifically promising that I would let you out. Damn it, you tricked me. It's not tricking you. I was just taking advantage of you. Um, that sounds like tricking them. <sighs> That sounds like tricking the bear. The sign. Where's that? It's all the way back this way. You want to play with me? It's my turn. Let's nip things up. Did you do something? I'll be serious. Do something? What should I do? I'm sorry. Didn't feel a thing. I'll be serious. I did it. Did everyone see how I did? Let's go. No. I do have healing pot there. I don't think I've seen any of those other items other than the herb. Oh yeah, the one I already made. I need like extra one. Whoa! Two thousand, huh? I haven't seen like any of these other items. Do 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 Let's go! We're back! Sorry for the wait. How's Usume feeling? Nothing's changed since you left. But she does seem to be sleeping well. Did you locate the ingredients? We did, and all that's left for me to do is make the is to make the medicine, but You're anxious? Yeah, knowing that Uzume's life and consequently the fate of this world are resting on my shoulders. I can't stop shaking. It is not your responsibility to assume the entire burden, Girzy. The moment Uzume failed to win, the fate of this world was decided. Even if the medicine fails to cure Uzume, it is not your fault. Don't worry. Try your best. Umio. Although I feel Gearsy needed those words, I truly hope she is able to save Uzume in this world of ours. Now then, I'll do what I can as well. Gearsy, Uzume is in your hands now. 
Ooh, what's he gonna go do? Going on a mission. Lastly, I'll mix in the ingredients I just pestle. Pest. Pestle? Pet. Pet is the little. Little. Pet. Pet. Wait, 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 wait. What the what the heck is pestling, anyway? Is that the thing where you, like, grind things with, like, a mortar and pet pedestal? <laughs> it is. Oh, yeah, it was what I was thinking of. Heavy tool with a rounded edge used for crushing and grinding substances. Ugh. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Lastly, I'll, I'll mix in the ingredients I just pestled. There. It's finished. Now I just need to apply this to Uzume's wound. I should let her drink some of this Nepal V2 I got from Neptune, too. I think it'll be therapeutic for her. Whew, that should do it. We dropped those items, because now they are a medicine. Hey, Nepgear! How's it going? Oh, hi, Neptune. I just gave Uzume the medicine. It's up to her now. That's great! Is what I wanted to say, or what is what I want to say. But we have a bit of an emergency. Oh no, what happened? Rusty and I just got back from recon. We were checking up on R4. Yeah, it turns out that she freaking became one with that dark CPU. You fused? One? You mean they fused? Yep, I'm glad you're not an idiot. Makes my life much easier. Before, that dark CPU was just our force puppet obeying her commands. But now that they fused, she changed the game completely. She's got that giant's body and is in total control of its power. Lucky for us, she can't move very fast. But... Well, she's making her way over here as we speak. N no way! Uzume hasn't even woken up yet! Is that Uzume? We gotta hurry and evacuate everyone. Uzume, you're awake! Call Umio. We need to get all the local monsters out of here ASAP. Oh. You shouldn't even be up, Uzume. Your wounds haven't had time to heal. Gearsy, if we don't get a move on and let them know, they're gonna get squashed by that beast. We gotta tell them. You stay here. I'll go instead. Please, you need to rest as much as you can. Especially if we're gonna have to fight. What are you saying, Nepgear? There's no way Uzume can fight the dark CPU in her condition. I feel the same way. That's why she needs to stay here and replenish her strength. I'm just glad you get it, Gearsy. I'm not going to be cool if I'm sleeping while all you guys are fighting the last boss. <laughs> I get the last boss. Oh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Neptune, do you know how long it will take the dark CPU to get here? Maybe, like, a day? She's pretty far away. And since she's still getting used to her new body, she's tripping everywhere. Then, Uzume, please focus on healing your body for one more day. I'll go and get everyone evacuated into safety. Big Nepsy, I have a big favor to ask. A favor? Yeah, but I need you to keep it a secret from Gearsy. Oh, secrets, huh? Secrets, huh? I can't believe you guys are secrets. Ooh, it's secrets. I don't believe you people. Hey, it's been a day already? Whoosh! Uh, is she, her wounds healed in the, a freaking day? What? Really? Your wounds healed in a day? I have my doubts about that. Nice to meet you, too. I have a feeling since her wounds have been healed that they're gonna go straight to the fight. And, uh, uh it's, it's a snacky break time. Right on time today, too. I'm not late today. 
think we're gonna plug in this controller and get some battery char. And then we're gonna take our snackle break. And then we're gonna go kick some uh, dark purple R4 butt. Right? Yee! BRB! We gotta get back to the action, right? We gotta get back to the action. What are we gonna converse about? Looks like my wounds have been healed. Look. Wow! What's with that outfit? Whew, I managed to complete the evacuation, but it's gotten so late. I'm sure everyone will be asleep by the time I get out of the bath. Hey, Gearsy. Thanks for all your hard work today. Is it okay if I join you? I don't see uh, any injuries. He seems fully healed after all. Slower than Kiryu, though. Kiryu took three hours to recover from a bullet wound. She took like a whole day to recover from, uh, I guess a slash or stab or something. She, she's a slowpoke. Confirmed newbie. Busame, you should still be resting. Nah, I need to get up for a little bit. I've been laying down all day and I already feel my body getting lazy because of it. Can't have that, right? You still should absolutely be resting, though, so don't push it, okay? I know. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. If, if she's already fully healed, then... They should go take out the boss right now. In their, in their, in their bathrobes, right? In their towels. Let's do it. Fight. Uh, I think that would probably raise the game's rating, though. But still. Wait, aren't you embarrassed like that? Thanks to you guys, I got used to it. It was just embarrassing taking off my clothes in front or taking my clothes off in front of other people. As long as I get used to that, it's cool. There's usually no one else around. Walking around like this isn't a big deal. Is she a nudist? Oh, <gasps> maybe. Great timing, you see. Maybe Pyro. What's up, Sap? How's it going? Fabulous timing. So, I heard you were the one who saved me, Gersey. Um, I'm really grateful. Thank you for saving me. Ah, I appreciate that. But it wasn't just me. You gotta thank Neptune, Quar, Umio, and the other monsters for doing their best. So, please, make sure to thank everyone else after we defeat R4, okay? Yes, of course. Hmm? Hmm? What's your mark? I'm real glad I met you girls. I don't think I could have made it this far all by myself. I know I said this before, but when you and Nepsi invited me to come with you to your world, it made me really happy. I kept imagining over and over how fun it would be and the things we could do if I really decided to go with you both. To be honest, Umio and the others had given me a light push too, saying if I truly wished to go, then I should just do it. But I couldn't bring myself to do that. It's slight, but every time I get more shares back, a part of my memory surfaces. What? They were memories of me as a CPU, surrounded by many people, in my beautiful nation where everyone lived in true happiness. Seeing such memories made my attachment to this place grow even stronger, and it made it harder for me to abandon this world. So please, Gearsy, lend me your strength again. I want to save this world. Please, defeat R4 and save this world with me. Of course! Our meeting began with the promise that I would, after all. Let's defeat R4 together and save this game industry! Oh... Serious talk. I've never been to a spa, me? A spa? That sounds very fancy. Very, very fancy. That's where you get all the cool treatment, right? You walk out an entirely new person, right? Got another nap station. Let's do it. 
I haven't gotten any quizzes yet, or they haven't tried to sell me anything. Onsen, I believe, is what it's called. No, I've never been to an onsen. They sound cool, though. Nap Station! I don't know the episode number, but it's time for Nap Station! Your hosts today are Nepgear and... Neptune, coming in live! I didn't know if we'd make it through, but I'm glad Uzume managed to heal. You were really cool when you decided to save her, Nepgear. Yeah, right. You're exaggerating. It's no exaggeration. You were like a protagonist, shedding all of their doubts. It's embarrassing if you compliment me so much. Now that I've teased Nepgear to death, to the episode preview. The final battle between the CPUs and R4 has begun. The lives that never would have been lost had they never met are continually sucked into the world. Fighting is a faded fighting is fated to always be covered with blood. Next episode, Zero Dimension Neptunia Z. Scatter your life. Prepare to see some tears for the ages. Oh, prepare to see some tears, huh? Feline curves. Meow. Wait, wait, wait. Cats don't want to be in the Wator. Cats don't like Wator. It's time for our battle. How are you feeling, Uzume? Thanks to you, I'm bursting with energy. I've also got all this energy because I got a ton of the special Netbull V2 and drank so much, it was like I was bathing in it. What? How much did you drink for it to have been a bath? About a barrel full, I think. I got a nosebleed halfway, but I finished it off real stylishly. Oh, that's why the barrel smelled like medicine. Wait, a barrel? That's not something you should drink in such large doses. You too, Neptune. You shouldn't have let her drink so much. But Uzume said she wanted to, so I got all excited and made a bunch. <laughs> Hee <laughs> hee. I pushed her, so don't blame Big Nepsy too much. You definitely would have stopped me. But to get better overnight, I had to push myself a little. Oh, this was the thing she wanted to keep secret from Nepgear. Make me a bunch of the cool stuff. I know that's not recommended medically, but do it. That's true, they bathe themselves. Yeah, cats don't need water. They got this covered. Is it enough? Wouldn't a normal bath do better? Hmm. Maybe like a normal bath every once in a while. Especially if the cat gets in trouble and gets all covered in dirt and stuff. Probably get better to get a regular bath then. But they wouldn't, uh, need baths nearly as often as humans. Chloe. Chloe's had a bath before. That went about as well as you expect any uh, cat who's had a, been given a bath before to go. I had lots of uh, scratches on my arms. <laughs> I need to make sure to try to trim her nails for the next bath time, right? Those claws are sharp. Did she like it? No, she hated it. She absolutely despised it. So she, she's a cat. No cat likes baths. At least no, no cat I've ever seen. Besides, this was my la is the last battle. I wanted to do anything I could. This the last battle? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. We're totally at the end of the game already. So, where's Umio? It's not like him to not be around when something so important's going down. He was off to do some secret thing. I don't see the monsters around either. They didn't run away, did they? Well, they probably went to get a bunch of share crystals. Oh, Neptune finally let her out of the book. Umio isn't that kind of guy. Well, I'm sure he's got his own business to tend to, so we just gotta do our job. Gearsy, please explain the situation and the plan. All right. Uh, why, why are there three R's in currently? Currently. Uh, yeah, yeah. Nepgear's totally the type who'd be rolling her R's. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Oh, like... 
F12. Oh, damn it. Why would they do this? Let's triple the current. Ha! <laughs> it's, it's triple currently, huh? I'll get this food out of my mouth. All right. Currently, the dark CPU is slowly traveling this way, accompanied by a large horde of vicious monsters. Where'd she get those? What we have to do is help Uzume advance enough to be right in front of the dark CPU in order to activate the sharing field. However, we'll be countered if we attack from straight on, so we'll wait in the ruins up ahead and launch a surprise attack as she passes by. We'll isolate the dark CPU into the sharing field so we can bypass pointlessly battling with the smaller mo monsters. Good plan. If we don't get involved with those small monsters, we'll create a window for ourselves to get closer to the giant. Neptune and I will be in charge of diverting the monsters in the ruins. Uzume, save up your strength and try to hide as best as you can. Right, got it. Let's do our best, you two! Looks like there's nothing for me to do, so I'll be watching from the sidelines. No, oh no, you don't. I'll have you record the history of the world with me from the front lines. Are you freaking serious? If we fail, you'll disappear with this world either way. It won't matter where you are. Ah, uh, damn it. Fine. I got it. Listen, if you're gonna do this, you better win. And protecting me has got to, has to be one of your priorities. Got it? Mmm, I don't know. You seem kind of rude. What am I eating? I was eating some chicken nuggets. Very tasty, right? They've got D-pads on their foreheads. Yes, they do have D-pads on their foreheads. That's for uh, extra button presses. It unlocks the super secret combo or something. Aw, oh, Krusty, you're never honest about how you feel. Let's get going. Yeah, it's the beginning of our final battle. Uzume's back. Wow. I gotta go all the way over there. I shall go for steal all your stuff. I probably don't need to bother stealing though. It's my turn. I probably shouldn't bother. Well, it's time to make ingredients for things. No. Uncool. I'm surprised they actually made it all the rest of the way there without running into any more fights. There better be voice dialogue. Well, I heard there was, but... Uh, but still, this is serious. They need their professional voice acting, right? Not the pro voice acting. Totally. We only have one chance. Don't rush in. Just divert her until the last second. J yeah, I know. Uh... Uzume! Leave it to me. Nexi, Gearsy, I was able to make it this far because of you two. I've been lonely for a long time. To be honest, I'd started realizing that it was impossible for me to defeat this thing by myself. But now. I can stand here in front of her with confidence because you are with me. Oh. So, 
Lend me your strength one last time. Yo, giant! I've been waiting for this. Shearing field, activate! No way! Why? Uh-oh, no sharing field. Let's go make it pretty tough. Majima would like Uzube. Hmm. Infuse Isa. Uzume. Uh. Uzume, please pull yourself together. The enemy's right in front of you. <sighs> Krusty, what's happening? It was working for a second, wasn't it? Probably doesn't have enough energy. She cancel it out somehow. Canceled it out? What do you mean by that? <laughs> that voice. R4? We meet again, Sprouts. Did you think I would not have prepared any countermeasures? Countermeasures? But it can't. It's impossible to cancel out share energy. Oh, but it is. I stole that otherworldly CPU power from Claude, and now you will be crushed by its might. You didn't steal that power from Krar. Krar gave it to you. He's like, ah, cool. Yeah, I'll be interested. I'll give it to you. You didn't steal nothing. You didn't steal jack shit. I mean, that's clearly Umio, but okay. What? Umio? Sorry to keep you waiting. My preparations took longer than expected. What are you? This light and this power. This is. It's share energy. But how? How are there so many shares? It was good I hedged our bets, just in case. But Umio, why did you come here? Don't be afraid. I did not come alone. All the monsters who follow you are here as well. Each one wields a share crystal. Everyone, you didn't evacuate. I apologize for keeping this from you. Searching for these crystals took quite a bit of time. All the so, told you he was looking for share crystals. I'm Funny how they talk so much in the middle of a battle. I mean, doesn't like pretty much every game do that though? Especially anime style games. Doesn't like, doesn't, like all of them have blah blah talk, blah blah mid battle, blah blah. Usually they're screaming and shouting and orders being ordered and running and shooting, you know. Now that's, that's like Western games. All these Eastern RPGs, anime games, they just talk. However, there's no time limit. You're describing a war, not an anime battle, but this is an anime game, totally. Well, it's not really an anime game, it's an anime style game. It doesn't follow those realistic rules. <laughs> I know these lights are a good thing, but I can't stop thinking about a massive glob of baby bugs and doggoos, and it's almost kind of gross. Hmm. If you believe you can cancel out our belief in Uzume, go ahead. Try. There are powers at work here you could not understand. The shares feel so warm. Uzume, don't give up! Please, use my shares. We're sorry that you had to go through all this pain just for us. Even if I can't fight with you, 
I could at least give you my shares. You can do it, Miss Uzume! What is this? The voices of Five Shrimp and the others are flowing into my head! No, I can feel their voices speaking to my heart! I think the thoughts of your friends are flowing into you along with their share energy. Everyone! Now, we stand with you. Romeo! Yeah! Sharing field, activate! Useless! I will negate your shares as many times as needed! How the hell is Eastward talking right now? From uh, Uzume's wrist thing. I forgot to do like the voice calm sound effect for that line. I forgot that one. Now it's a game full of references. Yeah, this is a game full of references. They can talk however much they want. Imagine how badass American dispensing freedom and warring is. Not for this game. That's a totally different game. Doing that with cute anime girls. I mean. There's probably a game out there like that, but that's not the Neptunia ser series. There's probably an anime game with like guns and freedom and stuff. But some, I don't know which one, but yeah. I'm sure it exists. I'm sure someone's made it by now. Anime Tank Serena. Rah! Feeling of warmth. This is definitely the share energy from my world. If I resonate this with Uzumish share energy, then both of you go. The Neptune song. How did you just teleport her? Neptune! Ooh, it's the other me! She's so tiny! I know, right? Nepsy, you're here! It is now truly an all-out war. Nep combination. Quad burst. What? These are new formations, probably. Wow! Hey, let me put on the, the cool uh, weapon I found first, huh? 
Oh, what? Or not. Oh, she's already got it equipped. Interesting. Stand the words. Hmm, she's a standard life. It's called Plot Armor Pro, don't question it. She was able to teleport because it's a sharing field, and sharing field has like a separate dimension or something, and blah 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 blah. Something, something, something. Get up here. Man, I can technically put you wherever, can't I? Get up here. Let's all get over. Now, let us begin our battle. I won't hold back. Let's see if there's a uh, formation. Oh yeah, quad burst. No, I can do. Or mismatch. For regular old depth to there. It says four mismatch. We could probably only do the triburst one. What was the other one? Turn. Oh, nep nep combination. They both have to be in the same transformation state. Sounds about right. Steel, huh? Can I use during this battle? Power up with my nip -nip. It's Uzumi's turn. Oh, that. Someone's gotta stay back there. Here I go. Yeah! I no longer have doubt. Me. You just winging it? Well, it is my first playthrough, so yeah, I'm just winging it. Oh, we can do combo with that, but we need to the gauge filled up for it. Alright, into the special. I'm pretty sure. Not you're off now. Uh oh. Wow. Oh, oh me. This is Uzumi's ultimate punch. Okay. The last one missed. How the hell did that last one miss? Here we go. I understand. 
I shall go forth. <laughs> Just kidding. This is the essence of dual wielding. Yeah! Let us begin the battle. Oh. Uh, Ow. My wounds. <laughs> Beat her ass like you recklessly kill random creatures that haven't done anything to you. I mean, I do do that. But yeah, you have a good night, Mexican boy. Take care of yourself. Get your eight hours, Kai. Get them ZZZs. What game you think is better when played twice? Uh, probably any game that has like foreshadowing that you didn't notice the first time and you play it again the second time, you're like, wait a minute! That was a clue! Quad burst not gonna work because Neptune is big. Neptune it doesn't have CPU form. I'd have to get rid of it for everybody. Here we go. Probably isn't worth it. Oh no, it's this move that killed everybody before. Probably stronger now. Who will die? They all lived. The problem was... The problem was that she was spamming the shit out of it. Just go to heal all again. Leave this to me. Did I bring enough heals for this? I no longer have doubt. Probably that. That wasn't too bad. I'll attack head on. I won't hold back. You'll probably just pop in tomorrow because you're going to Universal on Wednesday and you have to get up early. Oh, that's cool. You have a good time. Perhaps I'll see you tomorrow, but if not, you still have a good time. Have fun. She still needs a heal. Yeah, probably. This one. I guess we have to do this. Heal. I shall go forth. Just here. Spiral dream. Here's a heal. Who's my opponent? I'll use an item. 
Oh, that was... Uh, why, why would you pick that one? this time maybe because I had four people instead of three of course the problem the first time was that uh, that first time she used brilliance of the end or brilliant of the other whatever it's called everybody die except uh, Neptune or Neptune it was Neptune this time when she did it they didn't all die in fact they all lived So I was able to keep wailing on her. Where are not? I wonder where an exuberant fragment is. Ooh. Level up. Woo! One of my dreams came true. Woo! Level up. Woo! Cooldown skill? Hmm. That looks like it lowers attack or defense. Probably attack since she has an attack buff. So she's probably got an attack debuff now. Cool down, man. Cool down. Why? Why can I not win? Look, our board's falling apart. Uh oh. We are victorious. We did it! We did it, Umio! This time we really, really won! I'm really surprised, Neptune. I didn't think you'd come back to this world, especially at the very last second. Thanks to an update patch we installed on Isti, she was able to create a gate between dimensions. Pretty high requirements, though. What? How convenient. But anyway, I'm just glad Isti updated and rebooted before the final battle started. Wowie, wow! My small self is so cute. And you're the adult me. I see. So this is what the big me looks like. I'm kind of relieved that when I get older, I'm going to look a little more... Developed. <laughs> Woohoo! Um, well, you're a CPU, so you don't age, so, uh, yeah. It's pretty wild to see both versions of Nepsy just standing there like that. Totally. When I look a little closer, it's a little difficult to tell them apart. What name should I use to differentiate? Let's figure it out later. This mini dimension's about to vanish, so we gotta get back to. Ah, wait, Uzume! Stop! Stop! Huh? What's up? If this place disappears, Nepgear and I won't be able to get back to our world. What do you mean, Neptune? Well, it took a ton of shares to open this gate, and keeping it open is probably depleting them pretty fast. Um. Are Planetune's shares going to be all right? Should I be worried? Hey, my little sis and my pals were in need. I couldn't just hold back and stay there. We can just recollect the shares we lost. 
I understand. As this dimension was constructed from that share energy, once it disappears, the gate will disappear with it as well. That's the gist of it. So unfortunately, we can't really stay in chit-chat. I see. I'd hoped we could spend a little more time together, but I suppose farewells don't always go as planned. Oh. Hey now, don't make that face. People come and people go. That's just life, Gearsy. Besides, it's a fluke you're here at all. You were supposed to go home a while ago. But even before that, we spent a lot of time together. I had my fair share of fun. And we're both CPUs. It ain't a final goodbye. I'm sure we'll meet again somewhere, somehow. You're right, Izume. Let's meet again someday. It's a promise. I will now open the gate. Wait, I thought it was already open. Oh, we can finally leave this dumpy dimension. Whoa, what is this? A, a butterfly? Wait, that voice. Is that... Rar? Oh, I'm so sorry this form startled you. I just love looking like this ever so much. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, we did cause all this ruckus, so, uh, you kind of made your own bed there. Did you at least learn your lesson? What the heck, my lesson? All I wanted to do was record some interesting history. Yep, no remorse. Looks like you might need some disciplining. Like hell I'm gonna get disciplined by the likes of you. Later! Hey! Man, she's fast! Wait up, Krosty! Don't leave me behind! They came and left like a storm, didn't they? Oh, that's right, Gearsy. Is it really okay for me to have this? Of course it is. That was yours originally, so please, hold on to it. Sure thing. I'll keep it safe. Oh, right! I kind of gave up on it, but next time we meet, I'll definitely cure your dislike for shiitakes. I guess I'll have to be careful not to eat them until I see you again. I wouldn't want to accidentally start liking them or something. We'll be going now, Uzume. <clears throat> it really is goodbye this time, huh? Yeah. See you, Nepsi. Bye, Gearsy. Bye for now. Let's meet again. Oh. Looks like they've truly gone this time. Looks like it. Goodness. You always push yourself. It couldn't be helped this time, though. Even all that share energy we gathered wasn't enough to defeat that stupid giant. True. However, I didn't think you would use the share energy stored inside of you. <laughs> yeah. I can't even lift a finger right now. <sighs> Here we are again. I've already made my promise. I think I've got my work cut out for me. It's going to get very busy, but at least in a more pleasant, less threatening way. Yeah. I want to build a beautiful, strong nation that can rival Nepsis. Hey, Umio. Will you help me again? The question is unnecessary. If you so desired, I would follow you to the end of the world. Our dreams are one and the same, Uzume. Ah, sappy. Bro, did you defeat Artichoke? Yeah, Artichoke's been defeated. Then it'll be great working with you again, Umio. <laughs> yes. Let us work our hardest together. All right, then. Where should we start? Or with a nap. <sighs> hmm. Okay. Innocent heroine. Uh-huh, uh-huh. The bigger one.
Zero Dimension Master Trophy Urn. Wow! Wow! We got a trophy! 100 now? 100 what? Congratulations on beating Zero Dimension! And so, Nep Station has started up once more. Man, Zero Dimension story had a surprising uh, F12, surprising amount of volume. It did. You even returned to our world once, Neptune. So much happened in such a short time. I'm tuckered out. But isn't it exciting to meet up with party members who left and face the final battle together? It feels like that situation was made just for a skilled protag like me. Um, I feel no matter how you look at it, Uzume was the protagonist. Oh, how could you? No way! I'm lying. I'm just joking, Neptune. No matter how you look, you're the protagonist. Hello, protag. I knew it! It is you, after all, Nepgear. You wouldn't leave me hanging like that. You're always here to raise me up. As expected of my little sis. <laughs> okay, Neptune. As the face of the series, please read the episode preview. The wait is over. The CPUs are in a bind over internet lies and rumors. Not only that, but a mysterious four-person group called Gold Third is closing in. Where lies game industry's fate? Next episode, Hyperdimension Neptunia G. To a hopeful future. Ready, go! Okay, sure. Hyperdimension Neptunia G! What? Alright. Mew the real protag? That's right. Mew is the real protagonist. Not Uzume or Neptune or anybody else. What's up? What's happening? How's it going, Muse? How you doing tonight? Neptune and I returned from the Zero Dimension. When we got back, we threw a small tea party to apologize to everyone for worrying them, but also to thank them for helping us. Tea party? However, Game Industry was still in the middle of the CPU shift period, so we were worried everyone would be too busy to accept our invitation. But day by day, the baseless slander and terrible rumors against Neptune and the others have piled up. It seems they all had way more stress piled up than I thought. Ah! Who's the jerk that posted on the image board saying I'm a lonely protector without any friends? It's spreading everywhere! Oh, how dare they! I'm having similar issues. There are claims that I've been excessively purchasing expensive teas from multiple shops. But I've been home all day. Same! There are tons of Amazoo product reviews written in my name for some reason. They're all pretty negative. Weird ones, too. Amazoo? Some products have gotten 100 low ratings in just two weeks. And these people are misspelling words in the reviews just to piss me off. Dare they. For some reason, people are being led to believe it's from my supposed secret account. Well, get this. They're all posting that I push all my work on Neptunia and Isti, and all I do is goof off. <laughs> How rude. Um, that seems pretty accurate to me. Hey, cat. What's up? What's happening? Let's go. The, the, the pro stream. Is she joking? Everyone wanted to voice their complaints, so they made time to come to our party. So, it's the same for everyone, huh? What terrible times we're living in. This is an awful mess. Thanks to this, I can't go on without eating my feelings via delicious sweets. I'll end up putting on more mass at this rate. Is this the same voice actress, or did her voice actress change? I feel like this one's different. Or maybe, maybe it's been too long since I heard her. Hmm. 
I must research. That sounds different. And then all the previous ones. Oh yeah, it is a different one. It's a different voice actress. Rest in peace, Vert's old voice actress. Welcome to this new one. You mean her chest is going to get larger? Uh, maybe not her chest. There are some real meanies out there. How can they write all these lies with a straight face on? I feel so bad for Blonde. I can think of two reasons. One is that this is the work of pranksters. The other is that this is an elaborate scheme set for our ruin. They do try. They do have her try to sound like the previous voice actors, but it's no small enough difference. I was like, wait a minute. If it is the latter, it could be assumed that it's the work of hostile nations, but that almost seems inconceivable. All of our sisters are great friends. Indeed. That is why I hope the four of us can endure these troubling times. Hey, Neptune, didn't you say you had something important to tell us at this tea party? Yeah, now that I remember, you did mention that. I was too busy complaining, so I forgot. Yep, that I do. It completely slipped my mind, too. You see, I was thinking since times are tough, we should get through this as one big team instead of dealing with it individually. A surprisingly good idea coming from you, Neptune. I was starting to feel like I was at my limits working alone. Oh, I know. They say three heads are better than one, so we should be helping each other. Helping each other out, huh? I do think it's a good idea, but it'll probably be spun in a way that'll just fan the flames. I can see the criticisms in tomorrow's headlines. The new world order has begun. Or, meet the CPUs who can't do anything on their own. I... I think you might be thinking a little too pessimistically. Maybe. That second one didn't sound too, ba too bad, though. You'd understand if you'd been hounded by criticisms for this long. Imagine if every one of your good intentions were skewed by the public so fault was found in them. You'd get pretty pessimistic too. But I think it's worth trying. Since this is Neptune we're talking about, I'm sure she has an amazing idea. Uh, yeah. Your expectations are too high, but what do you think, Neptune? Well, I think it'd be awesome if all our nations got together and threw a giant festival. A festival? Our nations already have those every year. You're thinking too small, Noir. I want to set up a multi-nation festival, a festival to celebrate all of game industry. And we can use up everyone's national budgets to throw the biggest party ever! That sounds fiscally irresponsible. Let's do it. I think that's going a little too far. Uh... No, that's a good idea. What? I'm ignoring the part about blowing the budget, of course. Oh, good. I'm in agreement with Neptune's proposal. We've been working separately until now, but we can turn the tide with a move like this. You're right. We might just get the chance to weed out whoever's been distributing strange information, too. Distributing strange information? I'm not certain, but I think someone has been spreading rumors and lies about us to cast the people into a state of mistrust and unease. This is merely conjecture, but the scope of this work suggests the effort of a group. Otherwise, this amount of information control is impossible. I guess while I was in the other world, you all have been investigating this quite a bit. Well, yeah, what were they supposed to do? Not do that? from the fact that Neptune is as dense as usual when it comes to something important. 
Let's try throwing this game industry appreciation festival. Then let's all make the festival a huge success. Yeah! We'll see about that. Ooh, intra. Hmm. Those the rumor spreaders. The next chapter has begun. Instead of having like one story with typical chapters, it seems they've made a bunch of uh. The months that followed that tea party passed by quickly, and the game industry appreciation festival was successfully executed. It seems they've made like at least two. I like the post. Look at that Neptune board. <laughs> seems they made at least two uh mini stories or mini games and put them together. Interesting. Interesting. Before the festival, the rumors and accusations about the CPUs had both increased and worsened. But ever since the festival began, those lies quickly disappeared. Perhaps everyone was enjoying the festival too much to care anymore. I mean, that's a good reason. In fact, it looked like all the shares lost by the CPUs were being restored. I'm relieved the festival opened without a hitch. Me too. I thought there would be a lot of backlash, but people from all the nations happily worked together, which helped a lot. That definitely surprised me. It'd be sweet if everyone's faith in our sisters was restored after this, even just a little bit. Everyone seems to be enjoying the festival, so I'm sure that'll happen. I hope so. Nepgear! Uni, we found you! Found you? Look at this! I got some crepes from that old man at the stall. Wow, those look delicious. Would you let me have a bite? Ta-da! We brought some for both of you. He's like, I got you covered. The rumor spreader saga, same saw. He gave it to us as a thanks for a fun festival. See, Uni, it's just like I said. <laughs> You're right. Maybe I was just being cynical. I don't know. There's like zero happy music right now, so I gotta wonder. Hey, isn't it almost time? Time? You know, for the Grand Prix Finals! Our sisters are fighting, so we gotta go cheer them on! Ram, wait for me! Hey, don't leave us behind! Wait up! Hmm. Grand Prix final. And so, as if we were ignoring our needless fears, the hugely successful festival approached its final day. That was also the day when the centerpiece of the festival, the finals league of the G1 Grand Prix, would begin. That's where fierce battles between warriors from all over game industry were waged. Oh, by the way, it was a little disappointing, but I lost to Verd in the final qualifying round. At least I made fifth place, though. Oh, you did your best, Nepgear. You did your best. I would personally like Neptune to win, but please, everyone, do your best. So it's come down to us four after all. This is perfect. Let's use this as a chance to see which one of us is the strongest goddess. Blended. This is the perfect opportunity for me to show off my strength before all the nations. Goodness, you all get so overly confident when you're in your HDD forms. Well, what do you say, Neptune? I don't mind. If I'm victorious here, 
It will mean that Planetune's future will be bright and my place secured. It's decided then. We won't waste time with boring one on one matches. Let's end this with a poor woman melee. Oh, my! Battle Royale! Let's go! Hey, hold off on that match for a second. What the? Who is that? Show yourself immediately! You say you don't know who we are, huh? Well, let me enlighten you. We are those who reign from the four golden summits. We will call ourselves the Gold Third. But there's four of you? Gold Third? I don't really get how that makes sense if there are four of you. But step aside. Get out of the way of our final match. That's what... She stole my, my thought process there. For this kind of service, I charge you guys more than you can afford. Is money your objective? Even if you were to extort us, we are not about to hand over control of game industry. Control of game industry? Not interested. Then what the hell is it? Are you little doggies gonna bark all day or are you gonna freaking fight? <laughs> That's right. I've always wanted to try my hand against a CPU. How interesting. Do you all believe you can win against us? It isn't a question. It will simply be done. Uh-oh, they're, go they're gonna use some secret technique to bomp them all. They're gonna be bopped. So then, then faith in the CPUs is gonna go... You have a strong resolve. Very well. We will be your opponents. No, oh, really? They gotta make me fight it? I feel like this is a fight that I'm supposed to lose, but... Alright. Already all in the front. Wow! That's fun. I feel like formation doesn't matter that much. Hmm. I choose both of those. Oh, pick one. Ice one, huh? Here's a standard as well. Hmm. Size so, all previous text. Launcher, that's right. Hm. I'm sure they've already got the best stuff all. They've got the only things all. 
only things available. That's already the best stuff, right? Yeah, it's already what they've already got equipped. Okay, let's go, uh, let's go, uh, uh get wrecked. Babe. Watch the marks, huh? What's she got? Elemental attack. Leave this to me. Hmm, it's not just Neptunes, but worse. Yeah. Ah, I knew it. It's a fight I'm designed to lose. How dare that. This cold the fight. The other two didn't even get to attack. This can't be. We're going to lose. This isn't possible. I didn't think we would win. You didn't? Then why'd you show up so confidently? You bought Blown versus Zombies and you still haven't played it. Ooh, I've got that one in my backlog too. How many games to play? So a little time, you know. But of course we would. We're strong after all. Just when we had gotten everyone excited. If it ends like this at the last moment, this will be a freaking mess to clean up. Yep. The time has come. I've been waiting for this moment. Huh? This world and its CPUs can no longer fight against these negative emotions. Wait! That's... You can't! Anything but that! The other up to. Now, let us begin the reorganization of this world. This... game industry. Uh-oh. The world has been rewritten. Now, General Afimojas, what do you desire of this newly reorganized world? Well, I will require as much as I can possess. Hello, Gundam person. Money, is it? It seems the greedy exist in any era. Are you planning on starting a war? War, conflict that relies solely on arms, is conflict of the days of old. His voice sounds familiar. In this century, information wars reign supreme. Not only this, but information exists as both weapons and wealth simultaneously. Oh. This is the very reason. My secret association, Atimax, exists. I see. You're more of an intellectual than your appearance suggests. But it wouldn't be good of you to forget our promise, now would it? Do not fear. I have not forgotten. I have already prepared the acquisition at your request. My subordinate is on the move. Ah, uh, yes. Your subordinate. Steamax, was it? When will you introduce me? He obeys me and follows only my commands. I have no intention of him making your acquaintance. 
Hmm. Oh, it's Jamieson Price. That's why he sounds so familiar. Ha. He sounds pretty much exactly like how he sounds uh, as the main guy in Count of Monte Cristo. That's pretty much the exact same voice. And I was like, eh, why does this sound so familiar? Kind of sounds like the narrator from Catherine. He might be. I haven't played Catherine. I knew he sounded very familiar, though. How cold. And here I've lent you the few friends I have. Who's this question mark lady? But it's fine. Just obtain the item. I've waited so many years. Do not make me wait any longer. Waited so many years. Oh, it is actually. I just checked for you. Uh, uh, Jameson Price here. He is the he is the narrator from Catherine. Yes, it's the same guy. Same guy. Hello, Aeon. What's up? What's happening? How's it going? I don't know. Sure, we were somewhere else. Wait, where's everyone else? Am I alone? Hey, Noir, Mon, Rat. No one's around. Noir and Nepgear and the others are gone. What in the heck happened? If I recall, we lost to some weirdos called Gold Third. Then we suddenly were engulfed in light. And the woman who showed up in the arena at the end, wasn't that the older me? I swear she was yelling something important. She looked kind of desperate, too. This sound. Could it be? Hello? Neptune? You're safe! Yep, I'm still kicking. What about you, Noir? Hey, by the way... Where are you right now? I have no idea, but I think I'm somewhere in La Station. I can see some familiar scenery in the distance. I believe I'm somewhere in Lean Box as well. Same here. I'm pretty sure I'm looking at Louis. Bert! Lon! I'm so glad you two are okay! Likewise, Neptune. But what in the world happened? I remember making a few mistakes in battle, and losing to Gold Third. So stupid. But, when I came to, I was just here. Yeah, I only lost because I made some mistakes. This is the only reason. Sure, sure, sure. Keeping on some Earl Grey before bed. Ooh, fancy! How's the stream? It's gone pretty well. We're playing through the story. We beat a big bad boss, and now we've started, like, the next chapter or segment or whatever. Next saga. Now we have new big beds. Oh, well, wow, what's going on here? Looks like everyone's in a similar situation. I feel there's something going on that's way bigger than we could have imagined. Are you talking about those towers? Exactly. Those massive towers definitely weren't there before. Yeah, and they're gold too. That's so gaudy. How dare they? What do these people think they are? Towers? There aren't any. Wait, there they are. Towers. What are those giant things? And there are four of them. Well, my guess is that those towers might have had something to do with this. I can't really think of a sane reason why we'd all end up where we are right now. It would be best to return to our nations. Thankfully, we can still communicate, so we should gather your younger sisters. Right. We're clueless. They'll be a big help. All right. Then once we reach our respective basilicoms, we will make contact again. Got it! Now that I know everyone's safe, I guess I'll try walking towards Planetune. Mm -hmm. I have absolutely no idea where I am, though, so I have no idea where to go. Oh well, I get the feeling that some people are over that way. 
I'll go check it out. And so, the four CPU sought out their own nations, anxiously pondering the four strange towers now looming over game industry. This was the beginning of their story. We progress till now! Oh my, oh me. Oh. Interesting. We select a character to choose their scenario. So I can do whatever segment, whatever order I want, huh? Neptune. Neptune sets off to the Basilica when she arrives at the Shining Gold Tower. That's route I and Compa join your party. Noir. For some reason, Noir is being chased by her own nation's soldiers. Uh-oh. That Reese it is. In this route, Uni joins your party. Blonde. Keeping the hope of reunion with her sisters in her heart. Blonde heads towards Loi. In this route, Ram and Ram join your party. Ugh. Vert! As Vert reaches Leanbox, the state of her own nation was... In this route, Nepgear will join your party. Ah, oh, Vert's very happy about that. Uh, let's just do them in order left to right. Although it's almost sleepy top, so we're not getting too much more done today, I don't think. They're all three stars. Good, 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 good. Neptune, all right, sure. Let's use this. Uh, hey, it's time to start my story. This game's protagonist has to be me, after all. That's right. Woo, I'm finally here. Seriously, though, this tower is super gilded. And now that I'm getting a good look at it from down here, this thing is gigantic. I know. If it's this huge, I bet the view from up top is amazing. If I just shimmy up this thing, I'm sure I'll know where I am. I'm so smart. All right, open sesame. Hey, wait just a sec. It won't open, no matter how hard I push or pull. Ooh, I get it. The joke's that it was a sliding door this whole time, right? Guess not. If I transformed, I could fly all the way up. But I can't seem to do that. It might be because of the damage from the brawl with the gold third. I'm not giving up just because I can't transform. If I can't climb from the inside, then I just gotta scale the outside. Tower climbing, here I go! Uh, yeah. I don't think you'll be very successful at that. You just have a nep party with everyone? Yeah, she should! So, this is the Golden Summit. As a tower enthusiast, I'd love to go in, but work comes first. Did she get her memories erased or something? It seems worth trying to climb it, though. Maybe I'll come back if I get some vacation time. Well, she tried climbing and fell off. Hmm? What is that? Someone's voice? But from where? I'm falling! Move! 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 Wait, from above? I said move! Move! Is that kid falling from the sky? Kid? I can say the same thing about you, Squirt. Who are you, anyway? How does she have time to say these voice lines while she's falling from a tower? The name's Aya. I'm a gust of wind blowing through... Wait! It's Iffy! Wow. It sounds dangerous. Reminds me of the first time we met. If I remember, I accidentally slipped off the top floor of the true Neptral Tower and landed right in front of you. Um, who the heck are you? And how do you know my nickname? Oh, come on. Don't 
Don't you think that's pretty cold, even coming from you, Iffy? I didn't mean to disappear from the arena so suddenly, so I don't think it's right of you to get angry over it. Mm, she forgot, you, man. What in the world are you saying? Did you hit your head when you fell? Do you have a concussion right now? Because if you do, I'm gonna need to call an ambulance to take you to a hospital. Not cool, Iffy. Even I could get angry if you keep poking fun at me like that. <sighs> this girl's no good. Maybe it's because she hit her head so hard. But everything she's saying is complete garbage. Huh? Just a minute. You're not angry, and you're not pulling my leg? I'm not angry, and I'm not joking at all. Jeez, you're a rude person. Uh, that sounded like a serious reaction. Sounds like? <laughs> it is a serious reaction, weirdo. But that's a relief. You can actually hold a normal conversation. For some reason, I don't see any injuries on you either. So, I'll be going. I'm in the middle of a job right now. Oh, I know. Since you're here, I'd like to ask you for help with my investigation. Have you seen anyone suspicious around here? A suspicious person? Yeah, like a really suspicious old lady. Nope, I haven't seen anything. Crap! That probably means it was a hoax. Something wrong with this lady? If you're after her, Iffy, then she must have done something bad. I can't give you all the details, but she's the perpetrator of several thefts. I came here after looking into a few eyewitness testimonies, but I guess they were cold leads. I better head back to the Basilicom and investigate some more before I make a move. The Basilicom? That means you're going to Platitune, right? Yeah, but, well, it'd be a problem to leave a kid in a place like this. Why don't you come with me? Yeah, I'll tag along. You should be fine here. By the way, there's no way you're not injured after that fall. So you need to get over to the hospital ASAP, got it? You heading to the Basilicum, Iffy? That's what I was thinking, but there's a change of plans. I'm gonna gather some more info here before heading out. Oh, cool. So do you think I could? Nope. Don't need your help. Aww. This is my job. I can't let a kid like you just shadow me into some dangerous situations. I'm sure you'd just get in the way anyhow. Ow. You're so stingy. Yeah, yeah, sure thing. Just get yourself to the hospital, all right? Okay, fine. Now then, putting aside the fact that Iffy doesn't know who I am, I made it to Planetune, so I should figure out what the heck's going on around here. Topic trade has been added. I can trade now? Oh, yeah. Now that I'm here, I should contact Noir and the others. Let's see. The number is there. Hmm? No one's answering. Not even Nepgear. Is something wrong? I wanted to talk to them about this strange phenomenon, too. Moving on to our next news. Wait, they report a uh, different person. Moving on to our next news. New, we got news reports. We've received news that wanted suspect Noir, self-proclaimed CPU, whose age and address remain unknown, has been apprehended. Uh-oh. What? According to our sources, suspect Noir has been on the run for some time, but has now voluntarily surrendered herself. Mind going... Blank. Noir's been arrested? Sure, she might act self-important and is a giant sundere who can't show her true feelings to Uni. And she hides the fact that she cosplays and fakes her name and occupation to secretly debu debut as a VO 
and is a big grump. But there's no way someone with cute clothes and pigtails like Noir could be a criminal. This has to be a mistake. Based on the report, it looks like they didn't catch Uni, though. What the heck's going on? Whoa, we got the overworld again. Whoa, we've got... We've got... Bar things up on the top right, whatever those mean. What's that trade thing I got? Parade! As a result of route building, when two talent points are connected together, trade will expand between the two towns. Oh, okay. When trade expands, shops may become shops become more prosperous, and the amount of items you may buy at each town's shop will increase. Oh. What two towns are they connected between, though? Is this a town? That looks like a dungeon, but okay. They probably don't have trade available yet. Whoa, what the fuck's all this shit? Scouts, disc dub, guild, cod burst, investment. We've all got exclamations. Huh? Where is this? I ended up somewhere I don't recognize. This is the room where scouts are deployed. A scouts unit member, huh? Scouts? I feel like I've heard about it, and yet I haven't at the same time. To explain simply, it's a system where you can deploy helpers to the dungeons you explore. Since you're here, would you like to try it out? I think you'll understand it better that way than me explaining it. Well, Plutophic Scouts has been added. Just like the uh, Stella's Dungeon replacement. Yep, crash down, drop right up, observations, action, luck, HP. What? Wait. Deploy scouts to dungeons. Dungeon where scouts currently deployed. Within the town's scouts menu, you can deploy characters called scouts to dungeons, and in return receive items, credits, and even some beneficial information. Scouts hold abilities that can affect the dungeon, and they will cause special effects to occur in the dungeon in which they're deployed. These abilities are called scout effects. Select a scout to deploy from the list of scouts you've befriended. You can select multiple scouts at this time. What? Once you've chosen the scouts to deploy, choose the dungeon in which to deploy them. When deployed to a dungeon, a scout's scout effect in time to return will be displayed. Hmm. When you confirm the dungeon in which to deploy them, the scout time- or not the scout- uh, the countdown timer to when the scout returns will begin. You can receive reports from scouts that have returned in the town's scouts menu. Scouts that have reported back will automatically redeploy to the same dungeon. Huh, okay. When you want to deploy them to another dungeon, you must call them back first. Huh, okay. All right. Can I send you to that one too? And I can both search the same one too. Interesting. Hmm, I'm pretty sure this was the facility to use disk dev. If I recall, you installed idea chips onto a blank disk and it would create equipment that was called a game. If I find any blank discs or idea chips, I'll try making some. Pretty much like the previous games. Yeah, I, yeah, I only have one idea chip right now. That's definitely not worth doing the. Oh, right now. In fact, I pretty much didn't mess with discs at all. Messed with them a little bit in, like, first game, but, like, second game onward, I just started leaving them till, like, post-game, because that's when the best chips show up anyway. With disc dev, by adding idea chips to discs, you can create your own original game disc. By equipping the game disc you create, you can loot utilize various effects. You'll need a blank disc to use with your idea chips. Blank discs are discs which do not have any idea chips added to them. 
are special combinations of idea chips that are called either godly games or sucky games. Okay. I think sucky games is a new thing. I don't think that was a thing in the other games. Discs that have become godly or sucky games have an extra ability added to them. What? If you wish to add different idea chips to a disc that already has idea chips, you will need to format that disc. Mm. Well, at least the idea chips don't get deleted. I think they got deleted before. Seems they return to your held items list. Discs that have been formatted become blank discs. Idea chips will return to your special items and can be used with another disc. That's cool. These ones aren't new. Well, I have, probably haven't looked at the uh, thing for them. Guild. If I remember, the fastest way to get money is to accept a quest at the guild. All right, gonna do my best. HBSG. At the guild, you can accept various people's requests or quests. You complete quests by fulfilling the requirements and the accepted quest and re reporting back to the guild. When you complete quests, you'll receive items and or credits, and the shares of each nation will also increase. Alright. The enemy target and the dungeon it appears in will display a specific mark. Use this information to complete the quest. Hmm. Interesting. Within these quests are also requests from Istoire. It would be best to complete these quickly, in order to not, not to upset her too much. <laughs> okay. Rank. The quest difficulty, or a quest difficulty, is displayed in six stages, from E to S. And you will need said quest rank in order to accept it. Your quest rank will rise by completing specific quests. Oh, huh, that's interesting. Shares refer to the amount of faith each CPU has gathered from her nation. The more hardworking any given CPU is, the more her people will trust her. The CPU that's gathered the most faith is given the top share status, and will have a slight advantage during battle. The top share character will have an icon displayed in the menu in various locations. What? Shares increase by completing quests or by investing in public relations via investment. It will decrease when you take damage or faint in battle. How dare you! Also, shares will decrease slightly when you transform. What? Oh, because you use them to transform. You can still have a character transform if she runs out of shares, but she will be far removed from the top share status. That's interesting. Shares have definitely changed. All I'm getting is E ranks. Hmm. Right, 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 right. Interesting quest names. Chuko's request. Not long ago, I was on my way home from a neighboring town, and I was attacked by monsters! I struggled to escape. I never want to live through such a terrifying experience ever again. You there, please defeat them. Well, get out of here. Oh, crap, huh? Uh, my tum-tum! My tum-tum hurts! Oh, that's what they meant by crap, huh? It super hurts, but my toilet at home is broken and I don't really want to use the park's bathroom because it's gross! I mean, when you gotta go, you gotta go, man. This is my last resort. Can someone bring me as much healing grass as they can carry? Please! Man, you gotta you got do what you gotta do, man. You need 20 healing grass? Really? So greedy. I don't like them. I'm like, I mean, to murder horse, horse birds? Hey, you know those horse birds, right? Man, F those guys. It's like their name was mistranslated or something. For the love of all that is holy, please go take them out. I will reward you handsomely. 1500 credits and an idea chip is handsomely? Okay, if you say so. Investment, huh? Hmm, investment and development? What's this? Was this always here? Utility chief, huh? Is this a man? A man in my video game? I can't believe this. From this facility, anyone is capable of investing in Planetune in order to further its development. Ooh, 
Ooh, feel so political. But it's expensive, right? Not at all. It's like a donation to the nation, after all. You could invest with even pocket change. Ooh, that's surprisingly simple. If I have some spare credits, maybe I'll try investing. I'll talk investment as banana, let's see. Hmm. With investment, you can develop the town by providing it with credits. There are three areas available. Commerce, industry, and public relations. By raising the investment level of each category, certain developments can occur. Commerce! Items available in the shop will increase. Ooh! Industry. The items you can develop yourself will increase. Ooh! Public relations. Shares will increase and special events will occur. Ooh! The status of each area is displayed as a 10 section gauge, and when the gauge is completely full, that area's level will rise. Huh. I wonder what max level is. Wow! Well, we're obviously gonna get the best sword. We can do try and buy. Really? Alright, okay, what's the studded armlet? So it prioritizes increasing both or the one that's a bigger increase. Interesting. Start buying all the costume stuff. I'm not rich enough for that. You can buy idea chips. Have you ever been able to buy idea chips before? I don't know. I don't think so. I think this is the first game to let you buy the chips instead of farming them. I could be wrong though. I do not remember. Like max amount I can buy is. 30th stuff. Oh, these guys are almost done. It was fine. It's about sleepy time anyway. I'm gonna wait for these scouts to come by. And see what's going on. How much do I need though? Ah! I can level you up! It costs the same. At least at the... Oh, the public relations is uh, lower. Let's raise you up one level. Investor trophy earned! Commerce's level has gone up. Purchable items at Planet Tune have increased. We got uh, clothing I don't want. I was hoping for, like, usable items. Yeah, Dengue Kiko has returned. Or a scout's return. There's a report. I found an item! Wow. Yeah, she just, uh, uh, comes back. I wonder, credits. I found some credits! No, oh, they're just searching forever, huh? Until you call them back is what the tutorial said. Interesting. So there's gonna be little chapters with each character, huh? I don't see the giant gold towers on the overworld. Maybe that's where these sparkles are? The gold towers? Probably. Interesting. Oh, no, the game is forcing Nep into crypto. That's right, invest in some cryptocurrencies, please. Invest in our cryptocurrencies. Wow. 
Captain Wasuoka. Young lady, is there something you're invested in? Is there something you've devoted your life to? But that voice! It belongs to the one who's said to be known by every Clan of Toon citizen! Captain Wazuoka, the third? I apologize for startling you. You're Neptune, yes? I've heard through the grapevine that you're working to make this nation a better place. I'd like to assist you to help this nation become even greater. Neptune's shares have increased. Scout has joined. Oh. That's cool. Get out there. I wonder how, if you could just have as many as you want in one dungeon. Sure seems like it right now. Got effect given enemy chain. Drop right up. Credit sound. Interesting. It affects the dungeon. Hmm. I'm full of energy. I'm full of energy. Good, 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 good. Invest in Nepcoin. Invest in Nepcoin! That would be the best cryptocurrency ever. Let's try going here. Wait. Oh, so... They just... Uh, hey! Oh, wait. I have to adjust the... Uh, Combos for the weapon. Does that have a different weapon? On. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. No, but haven't used Rush, it kind of disagrees with that one. Not a whole lot of combo stuff. Ah. Oh wait, without the scout about enemy change. And they would have different stuff. So it's kind of like dungeon change from previous games. I guess. There's some weak enemies in here. Maybe the enemy change made them weaker. You got a cool mask. your beak. Like a kangaroo. What you gonna do about it? Nothing.
Couldn't sleep with the Nep's background music. What? Maybe it feels a peaceful sound as well. This one sounds uh, probably a little too energetic. You guys are so rude. their tail. Oh, mate. Scouts returned. I can't check the F from this menu though. A lot of guys. Maps remind you of Fate Extra series. Did I, did I play it? I have not played that series. The map for this uh, that we're in right now is a pretty old one. I'm pretty sure this map's been around since the first Rebirth game. Just shinier looking. Pretty sure this map was here from the beginning. Well, not the beginning, the beginning, the beginning of the rebirth ones, anyway. Oh, save.
I haven't played any Fate Extra games, though. Are they cool? Hmm. We all explored this whole dungeon. There's nothing here. I probably needed to not have the en enemy change. I bet it's the enemy change. Do, 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 do. Bet if I take that off, the enemies will be different. Nice to say, but try Fate Extra. The plot's really good and deep. It's a deep plot. Hmm. Or it's, wait, it's possible I can't, can't do this at all. I thought I'd do Dungeon next, but that Converse thing is probably what I have to do next. Some quest. Did I do the quest? Doggo jolly. Let's try going here. I'm home. Look at this item. That's right, amazing. Call him back. For my uh, quest. Oh, haven't seen a heal Dougal yet. I, you. I want to see if the enemies are different. Now it doesn't have change enemy. Full speed ahead. I mean, that looks the same. possible there aren't different enemies in this dungeon, so I can't notice the difference. Maybe that only applies to certain dungeons, but not all of them. You played all the routes of the first, so you still... Your favorite is extra CCZ, but the game doesn't have English. Ah, oh, man! How dare everything not be translated. Well, don't worry. With the rise of AI, we'll get all the, the, the robot translations. Uh, the, the, the days of untranslated stuff will be totally gone because anybody could just plug a game in and translate it. I'm going to go over here to check, but I'm pretty sure all the enemies are the same. Boing. Also, this is the dungeon I'd been to before, isn't it? Way back when she first came back here. We went here to get the, uh... The thing for Easty. Estelle. Boing. Yeah, I do not go here. We do the converse thing next, I guess. I'm not going to do that today, though. It's about sleepy time. Ooh, my marathon run over. I choose you. I'll mess you all up. And to guess the plot with the voice slides, because most of it they have JP dub. To complete the game, you use a translated guide. Oh uh, yeah, that makes sense.
It'd be kind of silly to just blindly play a game you don't understand and be like, I'm, if I press this button, what happens? Well, if I press that, what happens? I'll go ahead and deploy you here since uh, there's no noticeable difference, just so we can get extra items from you. Ah! Con Converse is the next thing to do. I'll do my best too, but that's all I'm doing today. It will be all for today. We finished. We finished, um. At least so far. Right, maybe we'll come back to it at some point. We finished, uh, Uzume's story. Now we're on the. Uh, OG Universe story. I deal with this new group. There's no bad guys. There's, there's always new bad guys. That for some reason just want to boss us around. Full translate got it for a Gilgamesh route, but we're really like. Really he like reading a good book, and besides playing with the PSP to advance the game. Isn't the Gundam the bad guy? Yeah, I mean, it seems so. But we've only just seen him one time. Uh, we don't really know what's going on yet. Who knew the question mark lady is? Uh, many mysteries. I don't think I'm going to find out just doing Neptune's route here. I think I have to do all four of the characters. And then only once they're all done, maybe we'll have a better idea what's going on. That's for next week, though. That's it for today, though. We finished part one with Uzume's story. Now we got, oh, we got a new adventure. We got new adventuring to do. <laughs> That's enough video games for today. Woo, for today. Thanks for hanging out, Kai. I hope you had fun. We beat up some bad guys, we bullied some more people, we slaughtered some innocent monsters that were just living in their home, doing nothing wrong other than existing. And we went back to our original dimension, it was very exciting. It was another hip hopping and bopping popping stream. Next week you'll shake the cold, make time pass faster. Why? I mean you could do that. Time flies when you're having fun, right? That's what they say. I think the actual uh, answer is that time flies when you're not looking at it. If you stare at the clock, it takes five hours to go one minute. If you don't look, then it's like, boom, just gone. That's how it works. You have a good night, cat. Good night, king. Good night, Aeon. Good night, Pyro. Good night, bot lurkers. Everybody who stopped by tonight. You all take care of yourselves. Thanks for hanging out. It was a good time. Next time we got get to the bottom of this new mystery. Maybe. I'll, I'll make some progress in it regardless. Whoosh. Good night, everybody. Sleep tight. No bed bugs. Take care of yourselves. I'll be back for you and all that. 